Right, so we're good. Are we live? I think we are. Hello all and welcome back to the Football Chat Live. Today we have yet more Premier League action as we watch the Manchester United massacre. They welcome Liverpool to Old Trafford on this fine Sunday afternoon. Liverpool looking to remain top of the Premier League. If they win, they will go back to top. Manchester United looking to remain in the hunt for Europe. And there's a lot of pressure on United today. They had a disappointing defeat late in the game against Chelsea on Thursday night. A 4-3 loss there which we covered. It was brilliant as Chelsea fans, but difficult for Manchester United. And that means teams... I mean, Chelsea are now five points off United. If United were to lose today and Chelsea beat Sheffield United, suddenly that gap becomes a lot smaller and the pressure on United is much greater. So today's very crucial for them. For Liverpool, though, it doesn't get more crucial than this. They have to keep winning to stay top of the league. If they were to lose today, they would no longer be top. If they draw, they could go level with Arsenal, I believe. So the stakes are high. Can Liverpool pull it off? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, there's always pressure playing last out of the, all the title contenders, but not only is there that pressure, there's also pressure, you know, this is one of the biggest rivalries in English football. We know, and we have already seen this season and across the last few years, sometimes United don't turn up and Liverpool put seven past them. Other times, United turn up and surprise them at the very death of the game. So we, are, we don't know what to expect today. It's going to be a tough game. It's one of those where if Liverpool want to win the league, They've got to get games like this over the line. And they've proven they can do that this year, but they've got to do it again today. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you there. I think, obviously, games don't get much bigger than this, especially given the rivalry. We know the history of this game has, especially in recent seasons. United will be looking to right some of those wrongs. I mean, 7-0 here. That's an embarrassment and a, and a stain on United's history, recent history, against this Liverpool team. So they'll be looking to right wrongs today. However... Liverpool will be looking to recreate that 7-0 victory and it does seem possible, doesn't it? Yeah, I think... It's a bad thing for United. <laughs> it's hard to say because I don't think United looks... United weren't great on Thursday, but at the end of the day, they did score three goals. And, you know, they... But to be honest, they were really poor at Brentford. I think they got fortunate that Chelsea were crap, equally as crap this season at points. And I really do think today, Liverpool, if they get it right, if they play their game... And it, I think it depends how long the game goes. If you, if Liverpool score in the first five minutes, then it's going to be the longest afternoon for Man United in their history. If United can hold on 20, 25 minutes, it'll be a little bit more respectable. It really depends. Liverpool, though, in the situation they are in now, need to go for the kill. When a title race is tight like this, you never know. It might go down to goal difference. Score as many as you need. And they would love, they would love to put another drubbing into their their most hated rivals. Of course they would. Let's have a look then at the lineups. We are, of course, at Old Trafford. So we'll start with the home side, Manchester United. They line up in a 4 2 3 1. In between the sticks, it's Andre Onana. He feels like the saving grace of this United side, the one player who really could keep them in the game today. In the back four, Wamba Saka, Maguire, Kambwala, and Dallow. We say all that about Onana. He's going to have a lot of shots to save today because that back four. Is not very strong. You've got Dallow, a right back playing at left back. You've got Kambwala coming in. You've got Maguire just in general playing in that team. No Varane, no Martinez, both huge misses. No Luke Short, no lack of any sort of left back. Like Johnny Evans. It's not a great, it's not a great defence. In the pivot, Casemiro and Mainu. Casemiro really has lost his legs this season, it seems, and Mainu can't do it all by himself, nor is he you know, that good. He's you know, he's mm. a seemingly a very good player, but I think he's a little bit overhyped at the moment. He'll be looking to to really dispel my beliefs in today's game. Of course, the middle of three, Garnacho, Captain Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford. And leading the line is Rasmus Hoylun. The interesting thing I find with this team selection is Marcus Rashford. Because I didn't think Anthony was too bad against Chelsea. Equally, you know, Liverpool do have Andy Robertson, who's probably going to deal with that right-hand side threat a lot better than than um, Kukurea would, because Kukurea gave Anthony a lot of space. But particularly that the third goal, what they thought was the winner at the time, it was that outside the boot ball from Anthony. I thought that was probably the best thing he's ever done in football. Yeah. In the United shirt, you know, he hasn't done a whole lot for Manchester United, but that was really good. And then to immediately bench him for Rashford, who for the, came on the last 20 minutes and refused to run. I find that a bit strange. Yeah, it's, I'm, as you say, very intrigued to see why Rashford is starting today. Maybe there's a conversation that's happened between... Thursday and today, maybe Rashford has shown Ten Hag something that has made him believe he'll start. Or, once again this season, Ten Hag has got team selection wrong. We're all going to find out. But to be honest, what am I expecting? I'm expecting a half-assed Rashford who doesn't care, who doesn't run, who puts in a really crap performance. 
and again shows that he just shouldn't be starting at the moment. Yeah, I do think though, for, for tactical reasons, he does make sense on that flank. He will hold that width a lot mm. better than Alejandro Ganacho will. Ganacho is brilliant, but I feel like on the right hand side, his impact is lessened. Because he can't cut in and be dangerous on that flank because he's right footed. Yeah. So he's got to cross. Now that does denote that there should be more service to Rasmus Hoyloon, which there was none in the Chelsea mm-hmm. game. So maybe that is a positive, but that will remain to be seen. Let's have a look at the Liverpool team then because that is far more interesting. In between the six, it's Xiaomi and Kelleher. Still no sign of Alisson. He seems like it, though it will be in a couple weeks' time he'll be back. So Liverpool for that. That could be key because Kelleher's yeah. a good goalkeeper, but is he perfect? Certainly not. In the back four, Bradley, Quanser, Captain Van Dijk and Andy Robertson. Feels like a game of makeshift back fours, but looking at Liverpool's, it is much stronger. You've got a leader in Van Dijk rather than a clown in Maguire. You've got Jarrell Quanser, who looks much more comfortable at this level than Kambuala does. And Connor Bradley settled really nicely into first team action. Across the midfield three, Sobos Light, Endo and McAllister. It's full strength in there for Liverpool, finally. They've had many months of having to rotate that midfield, but finally looking full strength in there. On the right-hand side, it's Mohamed Salah. On the left-hand side, Luis Diaz. Through the middle, Darwin Nunez. It's a very dangerous team for Liverpool. Yeah, it is a really strong side. I think defensively, they're not at their like, strongest complement, but I still think that is a really good side. Quanta and Bradley have both shown that they are more than capable in turning up. Uh, whenever they're needed, and again, they're needed today to play in this huge game. The rest of the team is pretty nailed on, and they're going to cause United a lot of problems. That front three is very dangerous. They're in brilliant form. For me, Liverpool, we know what to expect. We know they have total control today, and you know they're coming into this of a huge, hugely you know, incredible run of form. They're you know, really building this title fever. As we get closer to the running, and we are in the running now, as we get closer to the end of the season, I really do think this Liverpool side, are, the way they're beating teams is title winning worthy. And that is worrying for United today because for Man United, Thursday, both results across this whole week were terrible. The draw to Brentford, they were crap in that game. Then they thought yeah. they won the game and they still lost the game. Yeah, sorry, they still drew the game and lost points. The Chelsea game, it would be disappointing to lose nonetheless because that is a game against another side who are really struggling at the moment. That would be a huge three points. Not only to not, not winning it would have been disappointing it, but the manner in which they lost yeah. will be the most frustrating thing for Ten Hag. And, and that is what makes it worse, I think, for United, is that how they lost that, I do not know. Yeah, I, um, I, completely, I completely agree. I don't think United were very good in that game. It's probably why they lost it. If Chelsea had taken a few more of their chances in the first half, they could have easily been 4-5 and up by half-time. And I think that sets a really dangerous precedent because you've got a Liverpool side today who have shown an ability to be completely ruthless and to take no prisoners in games like these, especially, you know, United is the obvious one because they've done it before. I feel like United could be on the end of a real hammering today. And... Mm. You know, there'll be, there'll be United fans who disagree with me and, and feel that I'm biased, but I just I don't see anything positive at the moment to see in this United team. They may get a goal. to be like A lot of United fans will probably look at the fact that they played well against Liverpool last time as an indicator that they'll do well today. If they set up well, then maybe. Maybe they do do that. Mm. Maybe they do replicate that sort of performance. But I think what made the difference that day is a lot of the tactical side of the game was made on the fly. In addition to Liverpool missing a lot of chances early in the game, a lot of the tactical changes were made on the fly. And that's, you know, that's a positive sign to see Ten Hag's adaptability. But actually, when United went for the game a bit more, you know, in extra time, they managed to beat them eventually on, on penalty, uh, in extra time in the last minute. When they go for the game a bit more, they do play better. Rather than sitting deep or playing this half-half, like, cautious brand of football mm. where you know they're, they're a little bit aggressive, but also a little bit laid back it's uh, it's all over the place really so I do think that it's an incredible goal by the way in the old firm derby from I have no idea who that man is but yeah uh, sorry for that distraction but I think yeah United are going to struggle today yeah I think that even in games in games like this you know even if you can't outplay your rivals you know they know they can't play better football than Liverpool really but it's it's in a rivalry like Everton do is they set up well, but also every single player brings that fight, runs for the team, works hard. For United, there's lack of leadership in there. You know, there's, there's a very little amount of players who are going to run to the full 90 and, and push their team, you know, and keep going no matter what. 
there's you know a lot of players who just can't be bothered. I mean, you look at the Chelsea goal, the fourth goal on Thursday, four players pointed at him, and but rather than no one took responsibility, they all pointed it at him and made it someone else's problem rather than just going out to him. And it's that kind of thing that you, you which is why United could get battered today because they've got to work hard for each other, they've got to work hard on themselves. Someone on that pitch has got to be a leader and you know and you know keep heads up, keep you know, keep going, keep that battle strong. But Bruno if if United go three 0 down, the first person on the floor and crying will be Bruno Fernandez. Even nil nil. Even if it will you know, be. one nil up. And that's the be. problem for United. They can't outplay Liverpool, they won't outwork Liverpool, and they don't have to believe they don't believe and that's just Liverpool you know, day. Yeah. It's, it's it's a real problem. It's the rivalry, you should be able to get up for this game. They might prove me wrong. United might come out here and they might work hard and they might be there for each other and work as a team. But I am very much not expecting that to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get into some predictions then because we're about to get underway today. Harry, what is your prediction for today's game? Those players coming out the tunnel now, what do you think the score will be? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a complete hammering. I do think it will be a very domi- Liverpool dominated and very controlled performance from the away side, but I do think they'll get a convincing win. I'll go three goals to nil for Liverpool. So not a huge, you know, battering, but a really convincing result. Uh, I think it'll be two goals in the first half, one in the second. Salah will open the scoring around the 20th minute. They Liverpool will then get a second from a corner. It'll be uh, Van Dijk just on the stroke of half time. Yeah. In the second half, Liverpool will probably relax a little bit, probably calm it down but they'll eventually get a goal through Alexis McAllister. Fair enough. I will go for a modest 5-0 win for Liverpool today. I think it will be a goal from Nunes, a goal from Salah, Salah, Nunes, Salah, 5-0. Like it. Easy. Fair enough. I I just feel like Liverpool are going to dominate proceedings today. United just are are not strong enough. They're just not strong enough to be able to compete with, with their bitter rivals. Yeah, I've never seen a team like it. A team that lacks so much backbone, so much hard work. They've got good players, don't get me wrong. Hoyland's had a good season. He scored some good goals. You know, I think Minu's a very, very good talent and a very, very good player. Maguire, credit where credit's due, he's had a decent season. Onana, on his day, is a phenomenal goalkeeper and he's proved that at times. But there's no one in there who bleeds Man United red, who will work well, I think they all bleed so red. hard for their team. You know, and will, you know... Run that extra mile. Run for those 90 minutes, 100 minutes, however yeah. long it is. There's no one in there that does that. And then that all their squad quality is then depleted because of that. Yeah. I uh, agree with you there. Chelsea fans has enjoyed the game, my friends. Thank you, Chelsea fan. Are you not joining us for it, Chelsea fan? Have you got plans this afternoon? Go 4-1. You let, saying you're not going to score is nice. Yeah. I, would, I could see them getting a goal today. I could see Alejandro Garnacho scoring. But if, uh, he's, well, he scored against Chelsea in the week. He, he is quite good on the break. And if Liverpool do push up a little bit high, which isn't too rare, then then I think we could see saved it. Or he put it over the bar. I really don't think I don't Liverpool will be in total control tonight. Yeah, but well, I thought that was the FA Cup game. So yeah. it's possible to stay, isn't it? Yeah. But his last five appearances at Old Trafford for Mo Salah have all been, well, have all resulted in some returns. A lot of goals. You're looking at eight goals and one assist. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Last five Only one assist. Trafford. Pass it, mate. That's ridiculous. <laughs> You're winning eight now. It's games like this where Marcus Rashford needs to turn up, needs to perform. Yeah, but Marcus Rashford does often turn up against Liverpool. He needs a goal today. He needs to show. Yeah. You know, do what he did in the man. Look at the Manchester Derby. He picked that ball up and he had a go and he put his team one up. He needs to do the more that more often. Right, so we're about to go underway here. At Old Trafford, it's Liverpool versus Manchester United. Manchester United versus Liverpool, I should say. United hoping to pull off an upset. Liverpool hoping to pull off a drubbing. Can they do so? Or will United throw a spanner in the works of the title race? It's absolutely chucking it down at Man- uh, in Manchester. And it rains it pours, and I think it might for United yeah. today. It's going to be United to get us underway here. And obviously, it is this weekend is the running leagues. No room for racism campaign, so both of its players will take a knee and stand against all forms of discrimination. And now the ball is knocked back by Bruno Fernandes to Onana, and United get us underway. And Onana going along with it. In United 
trying the pump it long tactic, the, the smash it up in the air and see where we can get in their third tactic. Yeah, it hasn't yeah. worked. As they're forced back into their own half. But they are now playing some good football. Ooh, picked up on by Liverpool though. And McAllister out wide to Diaz. And he tries a ball. Tries to square the ball. Doesn't exactly come off. But it falls now to Connor Bradley. Bradley could lay it wide to Salah. Will now lay it wide to Mohamed Salah. And he's forced back to Endo. Kwanzaa. Now Van Dijk. Liverpool going to work the ball round. And already you can see their intent today is to play on the front foot, is to dominate the game. Dominic Sobberslai forced down in the corner, but he doesn't even protest the foul. Just focus on winning it back, and he does not win it back. Maguire falls over, then fouls him. Nothing given. Yeah, it does drop now to end the first one. Um, no, look, he did hold him back there when he was on once he'd fallen over. Taylor had to let it run. Now Bruno Fernandes, and he could lead through Garnacho. He's on side. Alejandro Garnacho rattles the goalkeeper, that fires will go home. Up. That will go up. He's offside. The flag goes up. Yeah, he went too early. Saw it. He, Robbo, Robbo stepped up. Very smart defending. So unless Quanta hasn't gone with him, I, I, he looked off to me. Saw it as soon as he received the ball. But he has got to go earlier from Fernandez because you can see Gatto times it right, times it right, and then it's too late. Nah, he's gone too early anyway. I think. Yeah. Gone show. Poor timing, but that shows what United could have today. If they can get Garnacho in mind, yeah, yeah, they could score promising goals. Stuff, promising stuff for United, but uh, Garnacho went way too early. Good decision from the lines line on Kelleher. the near side. Quanza, and it's picked up on by Casemiro in midfield. Now Bruno Fernandes tries to get past Quanza, but just runs into him, and that goes out for a goal kick. Yeah, and Bruno has unfortunately lost his ankle. So that is a shame. You just know, look, he don't, he just runs at him. And he do not show any sign of trying to get You know what he's looking for every day of the week. The voice refs know what he's yeah. like now, so then just not even looking for the penalty. And there. a referee like Anthony Taylor is not going to stand for Nunes knocked it down to Salah. Pokes the ball through to Sobberslai, wonderfully. Dominic Sobberslai, saved by Onana and headed away by Maguire. That was brilliant from Andre Onana. Ball back in from Salah. Cleared away by Maguire and hacked away by Rashford. But United hanging on by a thread. Yeah, big save in there from Onana. Strong hand to stop it going into that far corner. But Liverpool, brilliant football. What a ball that was from Bamo Salah to Dominic Shabozlai. Shabozlai yeah. didn't couldn't have done much better really. He did the right thing. But a good save from the keeper. He yeah, just cut through lines there. Like a hot knife through but It was brilliant from Mohamed Salah. And now mm -hmm. thrown for Liverpool. Lewis Bush on the strange thing. Open end game. I'm not sure we'll say that way. I'll be honest. We saw in the FA Cup. So eight yeah. goals coming for an absolute treat. But yeah, what a ball that that was from Salah. It's a good effort. Good save. And good defender from Dali there to put out for a little throw. Oh, has definitely started to acclimatise to the Premier League and to yeah. lock Man United. Cut out the silly errors. Um, Garnacho, Hoylin. And Fernandez forced down there by Endo. Yeah, I tell you what, that's silly from Endo. And Bruno gets lucky because he took a heavy touch. And uh, I think it was Shabozlai had already taken the ball off him. So and Endo nudged him down unnecessarily there because Liverpool already won the ball. Casemiro, Campuala. Now it's with Harry Maguire. He's he's had a decent season to be fair to him. Pitt will take the mick out of him a lot, but I think he's had a really really good year. Yeah. Gunning for that Euro 2024 spot in that England back line. Diaz takes a heavy tap. But he's got away with it. Mm. It's obviously the pass is poor. It's picked up on by Casemiro. Now Rashford, strong tackle from Bradley to win it back, but it drops. Fortunately for United, that's given as an advantage by the referee, which I'm not sure I I don't understand. know why Rashford protest got, it, got up in the referee's face there, because United still had the ball and they were attacking. Casemiro and back oh. towards Wamba Saka. And he's taking the players yeah, on here, Wan Bissaka. Now Casemiro. Intriguingly, Dallow's at right back, so Casemiro. Uh, sorry, Wan Bissaka at left back. Yeah, he's. Garnacho tried to poke one through to Mainu, and Mainu tried to touch it through there. Hasn't quite come off. Here's Dallow looking to deliver it. Hits it straight at Mainu, though. An odd decision there, and that's a huge tackle from Camvoala. Diaz unsighted, and here's Darwin Nunez, and United are away. 
He's got to. He's oh, got to make it happen. That had to and go he just earlier. pulls over there. Is Nunez. That was serious because that ball has to go early for Nunez. But yeah. just back on that Bradley tackle and Rashford. I mean, it might be wrong, but to me, that looked like he was just trying to impress the fans and get the fans on the side. There was a, it was a road tackle. Did Conor Bradley? Well, yeah, he won the ball. He, no, he didn't. He did. He left paid advantage. Terrible foul. He nah. flew in on Rashford. No, he took him out. Um, I was bemoaning the fact he could play advantage. It looked like he completely won the ball. Mm. Rashford's protest managed to uh, earn him I think an advantage. Him there. Here's Harry Maguire. She'll sit back at some point. Just lifting it out wide to Wamba Saka. Oh, but you're going to look to improve, to get the crowd going. Yeah, no. If it's just... On Derby Day. That's what I'd love, rather see in a game like this. A little bit of feistiness. Yeah, but not a silly tackle like that. You're not actually working it well here around the Got Liverpool, caught Liverpool quite deep. Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes switches the play. Here's Garnacho, and he keeps it under his control well, given the tricky conditions. Takes it around Robertson, puts it in there. Van Dijk clearing it away for a corner. But United are putting a bit of pressure on Liverpool today, which is a surprise. Yeah, I mean, Liverpool... And now a yellow like, card brandish yeah. to Conor Bradley. Was it Bradley or was it Van Dijk for his complaints? Here's Conor Bradley. Yeah, right. see that tackle again, again, I think. Ridiculous. No, and the ball's already... Rashford's played no, the pass. He... He's clattered in. Look, look, the ball's gone. And then just clattered into him. If he's really. going for the ball, he's not going for Rashford. Nah. Reckless one. That is early on. I think he just missed time. I don't think it was particularly I mean, malicious. Six minutes in, he's already on a yellow. Gonna have to be careful now. And United... Perhaps the occasion just getting to his head a little bit. United. Heads right that away well. And you've got to be smart. Get that ball into Rashford. Get him running at Bradley. Young lad on a yellow... In, in a game like this... They need to swap uh, Garnaccio and Rashford yeah. then. Because Rashford is not going to run at anyone. <laughs> run away from him. He's not going to run. Walk towards him. Right, well, first down his corner. Didn't beat the first man. He's going to get another go here. And Wilde's got his hands all over Van Dijk there. Not sure whether he thinks he's defending that corner or what. What it looked like. <laughs> They're defending the counter-attack. <laughs> Van Bissaka. Now Dallow. No, Nana. Didn't realise he'd come up to play in possession, but that's exactly how they need to use Andre yeah. Nana. And to great effect, that ball in mind almost found out a hand through a gun at I was wondering who on earth um, Dallow was passing to, because yeah. they didn't have any more players left. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just nobody. Yeah. That's a oh, terrible pass. pass. Was your Borsch lying there? Yeah. yeah. Now here is Rasmus Hoylun. Turns well, shifts it to Garnacho. Garnacho tries to put it back in there and it's out for a corner again, coming off Robertson. This is a really good start from United. Just a bit brighter, a bit faster. Not allowing to Liverpool take control of this game. Yeah, since they got their arse handed to him, like in that 7 0, seemingly Ten Hag yeah. has decided to only think about playing against Liverpool. Yeah, no. It's, it's surprising. Because then look, this could be against Chelsea. Bruno Fernandes, headed away by Nunez. Rashford, wan Saka. Back towards Rashford, and he keeps it in play. One back by Bradley, and he tries to get away. But he gets clipped there, and all be pulled back for a foul. I mean, that seems to have more manners in it than Bradley's one early. I know, obviously, the, there's a difference in the severity of the tackle. Bradley went in a bit harder, but Rashford, Rashford no intention of playing yeah, the ball, but just kicked him. That. That's what he's doing. Tenard does just look like he's waiting for someone. Yeah. So by the side of the pitch. Freezing the rain, arms crossed. He's like, is it a bus stop or something? Yeah. Sponsor. For Endo. Keller, now Jack. Basically, Sponsor. he looks lost. Endo. And the high press there from Casemiro. I mean, the ball back, but it does deflect off him. And out for a throw. Bradley. 64% of the possession, by the way, for Manchester United so far. Really enjoying themselves. I mean, they've played well, yeah, so far. McAllister, seen off the ball by Maynou, but now it breaks for them. Liverpool, Nunez has options in the box. If he can pick someone out, it's going to drop for Salah. 
and he manages to hit a shot. It hits one of the and it's out for a corner. Yeah, and th- that is why well, United cannot be sloppy, and it was Mainu in there. It was Mainu. He shielded him off there, and then just, just clears it, it back, kicks it back into him. That's yeah. the experience, that. And Nunes puts a lot on this, but exactly. Salah almost That's makes it work. Shot away, I tell you that much. Ten minutes to go, though. Liverpool just showing there they do carry a threat. Is Robertson over this corner? And there's options in there, and it's Diaz who almost makes it in there. It's going to fall for Salah. I think he wants just to cushion it and take a shot because it's a sober's lie in his effort, just lashing it just over the bar. Yeah, not a bad effort. Abs. Uh... At all from Shibori Salad as well. Just sets it off to him, runs onto it, and that whistles just over the crossbar. A really good effort from the Hungarian. And Liverpool now starting to build some pressure onto this United side. Hoyland trying to hold it up against Van Dijk. No avail. Here it comes Endo driving it through the team. Gives it to Diaz. Diaz knocks it to McAllister on the edge. Back to Luis Diaz. Now Bradley. Van Dijk, Liverpool are just now enjoying it. They're all getting themselves up into the United half, looking to cause them problems. McAllister, Robbo. Goes back to Endo. Moving it nicely, our Liverpool now. And they are just starting to get United to sit deeper. Salah, that's a weird one from Wamba Saka there. I'm not exactly sure what he was trying to do there. Hmm. Balls now back with Van Dijk. Jaria says, uh, the team which scores most goals than the other will win. Thank you, Will Buxton. That's very not uh, Supporting good. United, you know why. I'm not. I can't see City or Arsenal win a league again. So I'm... Out of the three options, I'd rather live win the league. I hope by some way we'll none of them win it. Bit, uh, not even possible anymore. Mm. Here is Dominic Sovers lie. Pokes it through for Nunez. Nunez has oh, got to poke did. either look right or just run with it. Yeah. Anyway, he's tried to poke that. That's, That's the second time his decision making has let him down. He had one in very early I just on. feel like he's got all the physical qualities and attributes oh, that make got... him a brilliant. If he just gives up the salary, yeah. they score. Yeah. Oh, he carries around. He's... The problem is, he's there. He's got his eyes set on what he's seen. He's seen Diaz and gone, oh, I must pass to him. He hasn't thought about any other options. And we saw it earlier where he should have played it to Salah and end up just running it at the defender. Sharon says, but I can see Arsenal thrashing Chelsea. I can't. If there's anything about this Chelsea is that they set up really well against the big sides. And uh, I think that will ring true once again on Tuesday night in a few weeks' time. Nunez. Diaz. Looking to get a shot away. It's just going to keep going round, people. Tip turn now back with Connor Bradley. Uh, Firoz Mahmood right to the stream say hi lads. Welcome Firoz. Good to see people hopping in chat now. And yeah, do keep the chat active. A little bit quiet this afternoon. So get involved, give your thoughts. And have your say in the live chat. Here is Van Dyke. Now Endo. Back to Van Dyke. And he knocks it out wide, Robertson. Just try to they're trying to force it a little bit at the moment, Liverpool. Nunez has tried to force it a few too many times. That ball directly into Nunez, just forcing it a little bit. They don't need to do that. United are very easily unpicked. And again, just forcing it over the top there. Bradley's going to keep fighting for it though. Maguire gives it to Rashford. Does that match Bruno Fernandez has dropped into a deep roll? And it's now a goal kick. Not sure who found it. Having a go out there, the decision went I in his favour. And he gets his decision goes his way, and he's still got to tell the lino what he thinks. Yeah, no idea. I think he was, unless he thinks he was fouled in there. But that would okay. What's the difference? It's the most pathetic footballer, <laughs> man. If anything, it'd be harder for Onana to kick from where he was fouled. You'd rather right, more central. 
Yeah. No idea. 15 minutes gone, though. Here's Andre Onana. And now come Buala. That's big, and I said in the build up how if, if, if Liverpool score early on, then the game's completely gone. Whereas if United hold themselves in the game for a while. Yeah, quarter think of an hour. Quarter of an hour, and if not. Liverpool haven't really done a lot. No, no, no. Good point. You know, if Onana doesn't make that save, maybe it would, it's a different story. And me, Nunez has had a cut or whatever. He just makes the right decision. Yeah. Gareth says United seem to be confident when games started. Yeah, they are playing with a lot of confidence today. Perhaps because they beat them a few weeks ago. Yeah. McAllister, Nunez. That is a poor pass again from Darwin Nunez. I think, yes, they lost to Chelsea, but they'll take the fact. A lovely from Rashford. Around. Great footwork as he picks out Hoyland. He can't box it because Galatra just stood offside. And you want that the way round. You know, you want... Or you just want Galatra to stay, <laughs> stay onside. Bruno Fernandes has just kicked it out Juan Bissaka. And a good tackle from Rashford to win it back, but he can't keep it on the field. Shara says, who will win the 2024 Ballon d'Or? It all depends on who wins the Champions League and the Euros, Shara. If by some miracle PSG won the Champions League and France win the Euros, it'll probably be Mbappe. If City win the Champions League and England win the Euros, it'll probably be Foden. My best if Real win to England, be Bellingham. It's going to be Bellingham because England are now in the Euros. Yeah. Uh, and the Champions League, the Tim Pot. Tim Pot? United really enjoying some good football. That's a good one to bring a fan. I think he was offside. Maybe not. Yes, he was. Tag up. To be fair, if, it's, if, it, if it was to be a City Champions League win and like a. Even if France won the Euros, they'd probably give it to Haaland. Yeah, hey, so Fernandez is offside. The referee's given the offside. Bruno then told Anthony Taylor to fuck off. That's a yellow card. He's now getting a talk into. Why is it not a card? If he did it on a Saturday, so if he gets paid 20 quid, he'd rightfully book you. Why are we not. Why are we not booking the professionals? We're booking some bloke who. Who plays I, for under I, quid I, I rather than I agree under that Conor Bradley should have been booked early on for that tackle, but you can only if you're going to do that, then you you, know, you should have booked Rashford for the trip, and you should have booked you know Fernandez there. Yeah, Sharon says my prediction is Lionel Messi. I can't see it personally unless Argentina win the Copa, but I don't even think he's, I don't think he think he's playing for Argentina anymore. Is he? He's retired. Should watch that as a guy. That's a brilliant tackle from Casemiro. Bruno, Bruno. going backwards does well though. I don't know. Now it's with Conor Bradley. Salah, Alexis McAllister, sprays out wide, Andrew Robertson, ball in, and that should have been put home, Soberslide dragging that effort wide, Liverpool could go on to rue that. Yeah, so another really well worked move, and Robbo with a good ball in, and Soberslide really, if he's going to run in and take it here, he's got to score, because mm. that is not like a fourth to Mo Salah, and Salah was livid again, but again, it's got to be communicated. Because if Shibosai leaves that, Mo Salah makes it 1 0 Liverpool. I mean, Shibosai should also yeah. score, but. Shari are putting some negativity in the chat saying England aren't winning the Euros, Henderson will play above Mainu. I personally don't think either should start for no, England. If Mainu starts for England, I'll pack up and go home. I won't, but I don't think he should start for England. His face rash, that's a great tackle for Van Dyke. Well, he just nudges him off the ball and he's Mine's not. told to get out. He's not physical enough. No. Okay, Mainu. But it makes sense because he's a 17 year old who's yeah. expected, to, or 18 year old, 19 year old, I can't remember how old he is. But he's child. a child that's expected to, you know, completely control the midfield for United. Because you've got yeah. Bruno, who's too busy fanning around in corners and swearing at officials, and Casemiro, who, you know, has to take a breather between brands. Yeah. Keller. I mean, yeah, I haven't had a shot yet. Other than Guy Atchison, which is offside. Five shots. They've, they've now dropped from 64% possession to 42% possession. It's crazy. They're struggling to... To have much of an impact in the final third. They're playing well, United, but they're not getting shots away. And you can't score if you don't shoot. They go much more to the stream saying, hello, hello, how's the match been so far? What did I miss? It's been quite even, actually. United have offered more of a fight than we perhaps anticipated. But I will remind viewers that when Liverpool beat Manchester United 7-0, they didn't score in the first 20 minutes. That's so this point. by no means dictates that this won't be a thrashing. Yeah. United have started well. Though. To be honest, Garrett, I mean, Glenn actually scored a goal that was very far offside um, in the opening minutes, but United haven't actually had a shot that counts. So at the moment, it is 5 0 to Liverpool on the shot counter. Liverpool had more of the ball. To correct it even further, they didn't even score to the 43rd minute. Wow. So. And here come Liverpool 
coming forward now. And there's Andrew Robertson who picks up that loose pass as options around for Robbo. He's just going to go alone and he just drags a shot well wide. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Liverpool's decision making is letting him down at the moment. Because again, Robbo, I get why he's done that. Okay, I don't mind. But that either shoot from there and hit the target like he should, or don't make that. You know, it's again just think about it. Yeah. These decisions, United, Liverpool just aren't getting right, and it's costing them big. I mean, chances. they've already missed two big chances. Yeah. And that, those are chances that count as big chances in the data models. I think that the interesting thing for Liverpool as well is when you look at that seven 0 result, they only took eighteen shots total that game. Yeah. They took they've taken seven already today. So really lacking clinicality, this Liverpool team. Not good enough. Not good enough at all. Yeah, they should have scored by now, really. At least once. Anyway. Shara says, I say Croatia for the Euros. All they have to do is not face France. Croatia? No. They haven't got Modric or Brozovic. They haven't got, they haven't got anyone to score goals. On Rebic? Exactly. Andre Kramaric, will he start? Mandzukic come back from wherever, I don't even know how old he is now, 40? Something like that. My best guess it would be Kramaric. Yeah, they're not going to win the Euros. they got Gavardi out. My, if it wasn't going to be England or France, my dark horses would be Germany. And it feels like I'm calling them dark horses, but they've been so bad recently. Oh, McAllister wins it off Garnacho, that is superb. But look at that reaction from Garnacho. Now it's Diaz, cuts it back and it's cleared away by Kambwala. Shocking. McAllister. He's, he's rub, that's the problem. It's, he's learning from the wrong mentor. Oh, and that ball through to Salah just taken away from him by the head of Kobe Meany. But you feel a goal is imminent in this game. Liverpool yeah. just been putting on so much pressure. It is coming, as you say. It's and that would have that would have got to Salah, I think, because yeah. Wambasaka was not tight with him. Wambasaka was a different postcode. Same postcode, different straight. So a corner nail for Liverpool. We know the prowess they have from these. It'll be Mohamed Salah to whip the ball in, I believe, on that side. Perfect chance. And Kambar... just fouling people in there. Kwanzaa and co. Ball in. Nunes flicks it on. Diaz scores. And there's the opener. Manchester United nil. Liverpool won ahead of flicked on. By Darwin Nunez down to Diaz, who volleys home for Liverpool and United. Finally crack, Liverpool finally breaking the deadlock. Yeah, and this is a good goal from Liverpool, but for United, it must be the most frustrating goal to concede. And look at that reaction. Look heads at the down players. already. Their heads they're are down, they're walking. Yeah, they don't they're not it. a side that have been you know, massively in this game, who feel hard done yeah. by here. They're a side who barely had a kick. And, and, uh, and that's their eighth work, shot, right? eighth shot against. When you can see from a corner and say Van Dijk heads it home, that means you haven't marked one person. It's been flicked on by Nunes and then turned in by Diaz, who are both unmarked. Yeah. How do you possibly not mark two people at a corner? Well, to be fair, if you put 500 on Van Dijk, it's probably the issue. Yeah. You know, they've got Kamwala there, who's just... And they've got a man everyone. on the front post and the back post who just stand there and watch. Like... Once the second phase has happened, the man on the back post has got to step up onto Diaz. If someone's got to move, it'll be alert. But again, I've, no one's communicating, no one's leading. Liverpool find their goal, and now it is about that reaction from Man United. What is going? But you could just tell it was turning. Bruno was getting argumentative with referees. Yeah. Garnacho lost the ball and just didn't bother to get back. It's the reaction to United that you could start, you could tell that goal was coming. And Dallo gets fouled. A free kick is awarded. Guy says, wish they'd push the Chelsea game match to Monday so it could be televised. Uh, that would be, unfortunately, very impractical. It's for the same reason that the Forest Tottenham game has been moved. There are what, rail strikes tomorrow. London is going to be at a standstill. Which is, watch, it's going to be mental. I watch Chelsea, anyway. Yeah. I don't know. It feels like this could be the only game we win, ever. I still don't know. We, no, we have, that, that's not even oh, we lose. a we, funny we opinion to... to hold. We should win. No excuses. Endo. Salah. Oh, Liverpool are absolutely cruising now. This is incredible. Robertson tries to put a ball in towards Nunez, blocked by Dalo, but he's going to get another attempt at it. Ball into the box, headed away by Maguire. He's going to get a third attempt at it. Maybe no, because it will go out for is, a throw. It, it, I get it, it's very difficult for Man United, but they're professional footballers. I mean, it happens at all levels. If you are a side that in the past has shipped a lot of goals to a certain team or to every team, as soon as you concede one, you suddenly you do start to think, 
How oh, bad could it get? Oh, we could, oh, we could concede seven again. And then when you concede two and three, you go, oh, we are going to concede seven. There's another corner for Liverpool. And we all know what happened the last time I had one of these. United just cannot keep up at the moment. Liverpool are putting so much pressure on. Yeah. Robertson over this then. It's, it's, it's scary the way Quanza Van and Van Dijk just you know, make this, you know, wander up to the edge of the area for every corner. But again, you've got, I know there's only marking, but they've got a triangle. You know, Robertson puts the ball in, headed away. It's going to drop for Sobersly, looking to strike one. Blocked again. Nunez up in the air. And kicked away by... There on the follow scissor kick there away by Darwin Nunez. Kambwala heads it away. It's going to drop to Endo, who heads it up in the air. Casemiro brings it down. One back by Diaz. Here's Sobersly recovering from that challenge in the box. Endo. And that's a brilliant tackle from Kirby Mainu. And they could look to break now. Hoylun. Vieri's just slowed that down a little bit too much, but he does now get it out wide to Rashford. Rashford back to Bruno. Bruno lets him run across his body, then throws himself on the ground and wins a free kick. Yeah, McCann's did trip him up there, I think, but um, doesn't need to react like that. But again, Bruno, let's have a look here. He looked like he's already on his way down, but I think yeah, he yeah. does just trip him. It, there is contact there, but it, he could keep going. Yeah, as soon as he turns, he's, on, he's already going. And there's not, he's there's on, nothing. No, yeah. He's throwing himself on the ground again. And because it's wet. You know, you can get away with ones. Like, it's easier to make yourself fall over. And now United have got a, a free kick in a good area. Mm. Eat a little piece of spoon it with a bar of them. I just honestly don't know what that man does. I know he's got good numbers. I know he's a decent player, but... I think he's got good numbers this season. He's not yeah, got a lot this year. Everything he? else, just, all his negatives just outweigh his positives. He does put the ball in here, though. Casemiro heads it on, and it's across oh, the whole face God. of goal, and nobody turns it in. Uh, that's incredible from United, that they've not scored from that. That is, it's a really well worked set piece. Casemiro is on side, heads it across, across the goal. There's no. three people there, no one turns <laughs> it in. I mean, Kambuala, Hoylun. Maguire probably can't just throw it yourself at it. it. Hoylun does throw himself at it, to be fair. Kambuala, though. He just stands there. Just throw, yeah. What are you doing? You have to be an attacker to throw yourself at that no. ball. I mean, you've got to be a professional footballer. I would throw myself at it. I'd probably Mate. miss it, but, you know. That's people we watch on a Saturday afternoon. Who would absolutely oh, yeah. throw himself at yeah, that I ball. know people who would, who would be 10 yards behind that ball and still throw themselves at it. You know, you, come on, you've got to watch the paper man, you know, did. It's like your Roy like Keane impression. Bruno. Bruno Fernandes wriggling through traffic. He doesn't throw himself on the deck this time. But the United do lose the ball now. One back by Casemiro. Dallo. Here is Mainu. Alejandro Garnacho looking to take players on. Holds onto the well before a good tackle from Nunez. He gets caught and it's a foul. Smart for Nunez. Gary says, who'd you, captain, who'd you all captain this week? Went with Sons, who'd be happy for a Salah blank today, says Gary. Uh, yeah, I went for Cole Palmer because as much as Chelsea are very inconsistent, even if we just were to somehow lose to Sheffield United today, which won't happen, Ooh. we are going to win. Uh, even if we were to somehow lose, Cole Palmer will score. Most likely. And if we win, Carvalho's going to have to score. So, mm. yeah. I also went Son, Gary. Um, but I haven't got any points really this week. But I've got a lot of people playing at the moment. So. I was going to say, I've got Salah in this game with Bradley. I think we'll get subbed in. Yeah, I've got Salah and McAllister. We are back playing now. I did think that Nunez one was a bit soft. But actually, watching on the replay, God actually really did catch him poorly. And that is a long ball. And Cambuala does not deal with it. And Nunes, and Nunes is in now bearing in on goal. Cambuala recovers really well in the, into the hands of Onana. That's a really good recovery because he had a shocker. Yeah. But long ball from Van Dyke. Cambuala tries to deal with it. Misses it. Flicks it on for Nunes. But he does want to recover. That's really good. But should, I mean, I know this is a bit pedantic, but Nunes shouldn't allow him to recover. No. He should be bursting away there. Yeah, it must like a kill. Happy birthday for tomorrow, by the way. Shaurius says, wait, you guys play FPL? Yeah. We don't make up... We used to make content on it. Don't really do any more. Because we're not... like Now they've all got... Everyone's got a chant FPL channel. There's loads yeah. of experts now. I mean, Stephen Storms has got a Twitter account. We don't need to do that. But, um, yeah, we do play FPL. I, I, I honestly... We do, put, we do also yeah. talk about it on Discord, which is where we yeah. sort of share most of our FPL content now. So if you want to talk about that, get involved. I mean, I'm still on the fence about the way it's how it's, it's gone to strategy and data. I did quite like it when you did just pick your team and open the yeah. best. 
now I think that, thinking, might, that they, might just I think that's always existed yeah, it's just that it's become more mainstream yeah I think a lot of, you know with the growth of the game it's getting pushed out more. the reason I probably don't do well is because I do just still just pick my players yeah like, for the fact, like I mean I don't like plan ahead I don't think oh there's a blank here and his price might drop and he's got a good run of fixtures but he's got a low percentage pick and he's a differential and you know yeah. he averages this many points per game I think that you have I think that takes a lot of the fun out of the game, I'll be honest. Yeah. I I, you know, I get it from, if you know if you want to play it or tactically like that, but the, the guy who's best in the world right now isn't one of those data. He's yeah. just a bloke on Twitter with a Wigan badge as his profile picture. I love it. I love it. He hasn't got spreadsheets and spreadsheets yeah. of you know different numbers. He just goes, oh, I, I fancy, you know, I fancy, I fancy this person to score this week. And he goes, oh, it works. And you get these tacticians on there that are like, oh, I knew Salah wasn't going to play because of his ex-mins. And it's like, well done, mate. But you are also 40,000 from the world, so... <laughs> also, that's your what life. You you sit in a room with your, your, your four monitors and they've all got spreadsheets on the FPL. <laughs> you know, I, I, just, I just like playing the game, see what happens. Usually it goes terribly. We move. Bradley. Time wasting with a throw. No. Waiting for an option. Yeah, Find be, Darwin yeah, Nunez. be careful, though. That's the only thing that Anthony Taylor loved to send people off for. Time wasting the 31st minute. Rashford knocking it back to his goalkeeper there, which is I sometimes a bit of a risk. I, I thought another was going to pick that up. I um, thought, wow, yeah. I thought he was going to miss the ball. Yeah, Duck. Point. Yeah, all the difficult ones to deal with when you can't pick it up. He just smashed yeah. his chest. Like, if he did miss it, I probably wouldn't put all the blame on him. No, not at all. United have reacted better to the goal. Diaz there. Knocking it out of play. Because you, you always get a second wind after you've scored, usually, like Liverpool did. And because they didn't score a second in that time, United got back into the game. If you, Liverpool had scored a second, United would have been done. But yeah, good start from Liverpool. Half an hour through now. Been a decent game. Been a decent game. Here is Harry Maguire. As long as it remains 1 0, United just need. To one chance, or a dodgy penalty, or something. And Rashford looking to take on Connor Bradley now. Close to Wamba Saka. It's just that dynamism he lacks now. He's, he, he gets the wrong side of Bradley, but doesn't do anything with it. You know, he slows it down, turns backwards. Really bizarre. And now Liverpool turn possession over and they've got numbers forward. Luis Diaz. Salah's in space. He finds Salah. Shot on target. Saved well by Onana. And Salah's done really well with that. And Lewis has not apologised because that was a really poor pass across. Yeah. And Salah's done so well. He's, it's not a terrible pass. He just is right way. He just puts it behind Salah. And it's very difficult for the Egyptian to get a shot away. Yeah. But he does well. I think he's taking a touch here. Maybe. I think he felt the pressure of Bruno. Yeah, but Bruno's either going to... To be fair, that's a good save. Bruno's... Yeah, it's a really, really good save from Onana. The reason I was going to foul him or not win the ball back. So, yeah, good point. It's a goal or a pen. Robbo now with the corner. Ball in. It's over everyone. It's going to drop for Salah. No one rushes out to him. It was like deja vu. And it's another big save from Onana. I, I can't watch you. They did it to Cole Palmer on Thursday night. And the whole United defence has just sat in the 6 yard box and watched Mo Salah. Take a touch and get a shot away. It was going Even wide. A good save. Onana didn't know that though, and he had to save it. He's now applying Vaseline to his gloves. Can't wait for the ball to slip out of his hands now. So, this is what's been happening. That's why I keep turning out for corners. They've gone short this one, Leopold. It's yeah, a Sovers line. Now back to Robertson. Could look to deliver this ball, Andrew Robertson. It's met in the air by Quonsa, but it's not in the right direction. Bradley, Sovers line. Bursting forwards here. Darwin Nunez, and it's Ooh. just sailing it, over. Deflecting over? Don't no, think so. No, but another effort. So, Boris Lai's had one whistle over, just over the bar. Nunez won now. Liverpool really building pressure. Onana's had an incredible game. Yeah, they're causing saves out of Onana. They're, you know, just getting very close. I mean, that one, just sitting on the roof of the net for Nunez. Yeah. It's Liverpool, because Liverpool know they score a second, they've won the game. I know that sounds silly, but they have. So and score another one, and then they're definitely won the game. Jarrett says Leverkusen a one win away. Gary says what a fairytale story that will be. I hope they can finish the season unbeaten too. 
Yeah, I, for me, that would, if they were to win the all cup competitions, so the Pokal, the Europa League, and the league, and not lose a single game in this season, that's the greatest footballing achievement of all time. Because that's that's invincible, but it's invincible in three competitions, including a European title. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I th- it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. The only thing that could make it better, obviously, is if that Europa League was Champions League, and I think it would be in England. If you do it in England, it's. Well, yeah, but that would never happen. That would never happen in England. Yeah, no. Here comes Robbo. Because you'd lose to Port Vale. <laughs> Super Sly Salah and he's oh, just leaned back yeah. there and lashed over the bar and for the last time. furious because again he knows if you if Liverpool yeah. score a second they they've, got to punish. they've got to punish and them. he knows they're missing chances now and all it takes is United to flick one in behind get Garnacho yeah. in behind and he will score yeah, he's proven that already once today 100%. this is really smart from Sobber Sly again because they're a touch baby Salah just rushing it he didn't bit. need to he should have just followed it home he's Mohamed Salah yeah <laughs> Very high in the end. Clock furious. I mean, that's the key difference, isn't it? Yeah. Eric Ten Hag's barely reacted in this whole game to a side that's losing 1 0. One nil. Klopp, 1 0 up, is reacting like they're losing 5 0. Leverkusen, yeah. I I also think to beat you, to beat Birmingham to a league is phenomenal. Yeah, obviously. And, but to beat them in the fashion they're doing it is incredible. I saw someone say that, you know, Bayer have got a lot to thank Bayern for. And I found that baffling considering they have a lot of game this season Leverkusen it wouldn't matter oh, yeah. if, Bayern, if Bayern were on the same points yeah. they usually are Leverkusen still win the title if Leverkusen were only one or two points ahead then yes they could thank Bayern Munich for bottling it but Leverkusen even if Bayern did what they did back in like when Lewandowski saw 40 goals in a season for a laugh yeah. you know, if they did that Bayern still wouldn't have won the league because they did lose a game that year Diaz has spun Maguire and then Maguire wins it back actually from Harry Maguire but that's not a great pull. Oh, might as well recover that. Now it's with Rashford. And he's going to get up this line, but he runs off the pitch, quite obviously. I'm like I try to keep going there. A long time, if, you know. long time if he starts running. <laughs> can't keep him on the pitch. Three Liverpool players following him, to be fair. He wasn't going anywhere. McAllister. Van Dyke. Yeah, thanks everyone that's tuning in right now, by the way. Get involved in the live chat if you haven't already. Have your say on the first 37 minutes here. And obviously as we get to half time, we'll be debriefing the first half and we'll be going into your comments, diving into your comments. So do get involved in the live chat throughout this, throughout the end of this half and into the half time. Kelleher. One back by Mainu. That's going to bounce right back through to Kelleher. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I do feel, though, and this is going to sound a bit crazy, but if United can keep it at 1-0, anything can happen in the second half. Do what they did in the first half. First minute, get Garnett for on goal, let him score. Just make sure he's onside. Nah, I can't have I'm able to keep that ball in play on the first side. Yeah. Gareth says, regarding Harry's point, uh, true, but quality of football in Europe in Europa is so high these days that it's still an accomplishment worth celebrating. Oh, yeah, you've got, you've got Liverpool in there, you've got some incredible... AC Milan, it's good that to say, yeah. Hat, that David Moyes, to, if they've got to beat David Moyes. A home and away. Yeah, that's not easy, and I know I might joke that he is David Moyes, but going to the Olympic Stadium isn't easy against that West Ham side. And yes, yeah, Liverpool, Roma, Aiden It would reflect really badly on German football, though, if Leverkusen lost that game. Oh, yeah, it'd be horrific. Lost that tie. Because West Ham Bradley. shouldn't be eighth, sixth, seventh, seventh. They shouldn't be in the Premier League. <laughs> That's hard. No, they, they are. I like them. But they shouldn't be as hard as they are in the Premier League. Uh, Sharon says United are the team that can concede six and score four from here. Yes. They won't score four, though. They'll concede six. But I can't what what I mean, they? If they could score, they could, they could score that amount of goals and still. I don't know. Not, I don't think they can score four goals. Today against this no, little if team. If they were, to, if they were, yeah, yeah, like okay. the Chelsea game, they scored three and still lost the game. You know, they haven't had a shot yet, though. So no, they haven't. Are they not? No, not a shot. And they haven't. They've had a, a player put their put a pass across the whole base of the goal. They've not had a shot yet. They've, they've scored a goal that was offside, but they haven't actually, actually had an actual shot. This is the thing when you know, like Goldbridge Malvin off saying, "Our oh, Chelsea fans should be at, should be." Disappointed because they've still got Poch and shit like that. I find that hilarious when your team... At least we shoot. You know, he was saying that Chelsea were lucky in that game. Mm. United were lucky to even be in, in that match. Chelsea should have been falling up at half-time. This is still down here and we are just... And United fans are furious that their team decided to kick it out for him. But they were <laughs> going nowhere and he's still down the deck. It was a big tackle from Cambuala. And I don't really... I don't know how he's got hurt in this. Let's have a look from here. 
Oh, I do know he's got hurt in that one. His ankle's gone under the carpet of Cambuala. That one is going to hurt. Yeah, he's got caught there. Quite a nasty one. He said he's all right. He's just going to take a minute. This is also give both sides a minute to... I don't know what Anthony Taylor's moaning about. But this is the Diaz goal from earlier. Nunes gets away from wan flicks it onto Luis Diaz, who I don't know who was, who was initially marking him. No one. No one was. Uh, and, yeah, and Torres, even though Nani gets a hand to it, and I'm a firm believer, a goalkeeper gets a hand to the ball, they should save it. Just to yeah. say, I'm not putting the blame on him, I'm just making the point that it was saveable and very much stoppable from both... The to whole be fair, though, he has saved literally everything else. He has, he has, yeah. Uh, the fact that no one was marking Lewis Diaz originally. Yeah. It's not like he ran away from his man. Just nobody marked him. He, yeah, to be fair, he's made three saves. He's only conceded one goal from 1.79 XGOT. Yeah, fair enough. Like, I'll stop digging he's done very well. He's the one player you can't criticise today yeah. for United. It says a lot, it's the only green rating. But as we say, and I'll say, I'll say I know there's still a long way to go in this game, but let's take it. If United do lose today, Chelsea win after this. And did, did West Ham win? No, they rescued. They, yes, they did. They beat Wolves. Yeah. Because Gary O'Neill had another rant. Um, so, uh, well, as it stands, United have a game in hand on West Ham. West Ham played loads of games for some reason. <laughs> Them and Aston Villa have just played loads of games. Mm. But so United are level on points of West Ham, but they have a game in hand. They would be a point ahead of Newcastle on the same amount of games, and they'd only be five ahead of Chelsea, and Chelsea have two games in hand on United. So One of which right, is against Sheffield United, United today. Bradley, Nunes, Diaz. Let's to Diaz and it's blocked wide. See, that was good decision making from Darwin Nunes. Yeah. But again, he might have got the call from Diaz. But as you say, it is not looking good. If Chelsea United. won later today, they'd be two points behind United a with a game in hand. That game in hand is Tottenham, admittedly. It's still a game in hand. But they've got a nice the start of the season. United. And Tottenham, to be honest, yeah. do not look great. That's a huge block in there from Dallo to deny Lewis Diaz scoring a second. And as we get closer to the end of this first 45, yeah. Liverpool are putting on the pressure. United, though, has got to go to Bournemouth next weekend, which at the moment isn't an easy game, but Bournemouth have been very good and they'll be keen to bounce back after losing yeah. to Luton. They've still got to go, they've still got to welcome Newcastle to Old Trafford. They've That's still got game. to play Sheffield United at home, Burnley That's at home, which should be wins. Crystal Palace away again, that should be a win. But then Arsenal and Brighton to round out the season, yeah. with Newcastle potentially sandwiched in there in game week 37. So we- Basically, end of the season. if United need points in the last few game weeks, they're not going to get them. That would be so United to lose to Burnley or Sheffield United, wouldn't it? When they're already down. Yeah. Sheffield United could be relegated by that point. They definitely could. I mean, we've always seen one could team they? in England confirmed, two teams in England actually. Well, Carlisle down. down to League Two, aren't they? Carlisle are down, Rotherham are down. Oh, yeah, so, yeah Rotherham are There's another team, I think, somewhere. But yeah, it's, um, it's crazy. That we're in eight, you know, we're yeah. seventh of April and teams are getting relegated. Oh, well, really teams are also good. winning divisions. Oh, I mean, Chesterfield already up. They won it in January, didn't they? No, it's <laughs> March. Yeah. Oh, Bradley, Bradley super. Just getting through traffic. Here's Salah. A foul in there from Bruno, but he evades it. Ball in towards oh, Nunes, but Nunes, Nunes can't got to be proactive. He's got, a, I'm not, yeah, you know, that's a brilliant ball in from Mo Salah, and it's got to be anticipated by the number nine there. Yeah. Oh, McAllister turns so quality. Sharon says, it'll be funny if Italy win the Euros this year and do not qualify again for the World Cup. I've no idea how they won that year as well, though, because that team was not very good. No. And they've somehow got even worse. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> because the only, other, <laughs> the only team in the world that scored three in the final and go, job done, then it's all sit back. <laughs> the but the fact they got there in the first place, that's a foul. Not well, given. I didn't fancy it. No. <laughs> Maguire just drags out to the ground, nothing given. Like, I get a tail of him give that, because it's in the corner, but... Lino stood right there. Minute to go, the 45-plus additional time. Still, Manchester United nil, Liverpool won, and Liverpool are pushing for that second goal. Diaz finds it that's really well to get the pass off there. And Liverpool, once again, rebuilding, trying to find a way through this United side. Here it is. What's funny is that United, I think, have looked better than they did against Chelsea. No. No? Come on, Chelsea handed that game to United. Yeah, no, they did, but they haven't had a shot. 
Chelsea, you know, Chelsea, while well, they allowed yeah, them more, United at least had fleeting opportunities. Today, they've not done anything. Haven't had a shot. They're going to get to half time and they've not had a shot because they've, they're not attacking. Here comes Diaz. Nunez. They have no idea what they're doing in anywhere on the pitch. Here's Darwin Nunez. Back to Nunez. And that should be two again. He's missed an opportunity. Flag is up anyway for offside. I honestly don't know how Liverpool is only one of that. I've got no idea. This is a lovely exchange between Nunez and Robertson. He was offside though. Liverpool should have scored more. They really should have scored more. Save from Onana. Yeah. The flag in Gavin would have been a corner. And yeah, to be fair, give Nunez his credit then that was on target. Sharon says all you have to do to beat England is to take defence. I just agree, England have quite a good record of penalties. Just to, you know, we decided to sub on three pen takers in the last minute That's of extra time. Which is a terrible idea. Or it's coming home. But we're, in Pickford, we've got one of the best penalty savers. Yeah. So, I, I disagree. Do you think any United players will be... Well, first of, like, they'll be there, won't they? They'll they should not Yeah. Should they be? Obviously, Rashford should be nowhere near it for me. Maguire, I don't mind being in there. I, I, disagree, I disagree with Rashford because he offers tactical, tactical flexibility. I don't want him at all. Because using him as a winger, because he'll hold the width really well, offers you the same, Should quite I similar to Jack Grealish. Bradley? Bradley, and it's flopped. Does Mainu get in there? Mainu should be, I think he'll be in the squad. I don't know if he should Wait be. Wait a second. The, thing, the, the weird thing is, is players like Curtis Jones, I know he's injured at the moment, but Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott, oh, is Jones injured? I can't remember. Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott, Ross Barkley should all have been handed chances for England, and yet Co Mainu plays four games for United and gets a chance. Yeah. I don't get that. I really don't get that. I don't think he showed enough in those four games to be wanting a chance. By that same metric, Lewis Miley should have been handed a chance in November, yeah. and he wasn't. So uh, it's just the United PR, isn't it? Right way to put the ball in. Does be the first man, that should be a card. That's still my firm rule in football, is if your corner does not beat the first man, you should be booked. That's a, it's just appalling. And that is the end of the half. And brings Taylor blows the whistle and we are done. Yeah, the end of first 45 minutes here. Liverpool lead Manchester United by a goal to nil. A goal coming from Luis Diaz. But you have a feeling it could be a whole lot more for Liverpool in this first half. They've had a lot of chances. United have looked very vulnerable, very open. And, well, if I was a United fan, I would be worried about what the second half has in store. Yeah, it was it damning, wasn't it? 14 shots to none. And the crazy thing is, the parallels are there because when Liverpool beat United 7-0, they were 1-0 up at half-time. They scored six goals in the second half. So by no means United safe. Now, United have prevented a lot of chances in this game. Oh, no, has been very good. But, they haven't had but they've not created anything. United are under the cosh constantly in this game. And as the players start to tire, as this game wears on, and as Liverpool rotate players and make changes and bring on fresh legs... I think this is only going to get worse for Manchester United. Yeah. That's the issue. United just don't have anything yeah. across the pitch. Their midfield is spineless. The defence is lacklustre. It's out of position. It's poorly coordinated. There's no organisation there. And the attack, there's just nothing. Like you get the ball up there. They don't really know how to link up. The positioning isn't great. The movement isn't great. The timing isn't great. The decision making isn't great. That's why they've not had a shot yet. Because they yeah. can't clear the ball, they can't progress the ball, and they can't move in the right areas when they're in attacking areas. Everywhere across the pitch is completely awful. And and that's one of the that is the fundamental of football is you have to have a shot in the game. And yeah. like and this might be a bit of a stretch, but I don't think it is. Newport will turn up at Man City and they'll have a shot. Because they'll yeah. catch City out, or at least they'll get a corner and put a header on target, you know. And but it's not like United, but when they have had chances, they haven't had shots. Rashford got the wrong side of Bradley and then went, oh, I've had enough and turned around. Yeah. The ball was put across the box from a set piece by Casemiro. No one threw the ball. And not, like, across the goal line, a couple of yards out, and nobody turned it home or even put yeah. it in the direction of the goal and it went out for a goal kick. Truly baffling. Absolutely yeah. baffling. I think my biggest criticism of Eric Ten Hag is that. There is just nothing in the play 
in their football that suggests mm. there's anything that they're going working towards with other sides that are struggling. I mean, you take Arsenal from a few years ago when they were struggling, you could at least see that they were committed to building out from the back, even if that was to their detriment at times. There was a commitment to play football the right way. There was there was clearly a goal, a target yeah. in mind, somewhere they were going to go. Even with the Chelsea team this season, I think you can make a strong argument they've underperformed massively. But there's positives there. There's still players that you go, well, he's done really well this season. For example, Cole Palmer. Or you say, you know, th- there is some really good stuff in possession, out of possession, you know, etc. With the Uniteds, there just isn't anything I look at and go, you know what, they're doing this well. In this game today, they've been played off the park entirely. The one thing they've done well is the ball in behind to Garnaccio, which they've executed once and he was offside. Now, if they do that again, yes, they might get lucky. They might counter them. They might get a goal in that manner, and they may get fortunate once again. But on the merit of play, they could easily lose this game by a a very uncomfortably bad margin. And the other thing, the other big thing for me to turn out, I mean, you said he looks like he's standing there waiting for a bus, because he does. He's inactive, yeah. We watched a non-league game yesterday, and one of the teams are already champions. They're clear by 16 points. They've confirmed the league title. But even though, even though they've all done all that, their managers were still got angry, were still yeah. livid when their players didn't bring the standard. They made yeah, changes. They demanded they, more. Exactly. Ten Hag doesn't even demand he, more when they're livid. His side hasn't had a shot, and he's just like, oh, we're already one nil down, boys, so we'll keep going. I, I, exactly. I feel that you've got to, as a manager in that situation, even if it's just for the fans, you've got to be shouting at them. You've got to be screaming at them. Also, this might be drastic, but my, my attack has come off if they haven't had a shot in 45 minutes. Honestly, if I am the attackers, um, so, yeah. from, from kick-off, yeah. I'm passing the other one, we're smashing at the goal, because yeah. we're not going We're not going yeah. at the end of the game, well, we've not had a shot in 45 minutes. If I'm Martin Frank, and I walked minutes. into that tunnel, I'd be like, I've had a t- how have I not had a shot? How have our team not had a shot? That's my fault. He won't, though. You He'll... say rotate the front line. Oh. Their options off the bench yeah. are a 19-year-old Omari Forson, Anthony, or Ahmad Diallo. But it does not make a statement. Ahmad Diallo scored the winner in the FA Cup quarter-final yeah. in extra time. Rashford has played today and has been terrible. None of that attacking line has had a shot. It's, it's been horrific. Gonacho, EK, took his chance well when he was miles offside. But yeah, where's he been? Where's he been since then? Yeah. yeah and, uh, oh, oh my, it is... Terrible. I feel like Rashford really struggles to have an impact on games. I mean, yeah, we look at it. The, the zero stats. shots to 15, zero on target to four. Obviously, no expected goals to 1.59. Even the touch in the opposition box, yeah. 7 to 21. Leo had three times more touches in the box. But have you had seven touches in the opposition box and not had a shot? It's the more confusing thing. <laughs> what, what are you doing in there? <laughs> Just release the ball. Have an effort, even oh, if it's yeah. blocked by the first man. Honestly, as you say, if I'm the strikers, maybe not from the kickoff, but 25 yards out, if I'm Bruno Fernandes or Rashford or anyone on the football pitch, Dallo. It's not even their half. It's not even their kickoff. It's like no. oh, if <laughs> Dallo's 30 yards out, like just have a go. Why mm-hmm. not? Because you're taking out a shot. Sharia says, if let's say Atleti win the UCL, the Portugal, the Euros, who's winning the Ballon d'Or? Oh, I like the question. I really like the question. Harland. Depends on who the finalists are, because if it's someone like France, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a Griezmann, because he's yeah. done really, he's put some really strong numbers in the league this season. If I let you in the UCL, I've got some questions. Oh, well, I think that's that could be a potential. I genuinely think they could. I think this could be Simeone's year. Wow. Because I think the Dortmund tie is a really nice one, and then they play either PSG or Barcelona, who are both underperforming this season, and then after that, it's a final. And if there's one thing Diego Simeone can do, yeah. it is beat anybody in one match of football. I would just like to add, right, and Sky have brought this up. The, so, obviously, for the corner that Luis Diaz scored, he was left completely unmarked for the whole corner. The next time Liverpool had a corner, United left him unmarked again. It yeah. is criminal. They're doing it to themselves at this point. Like They're actually doing it to themselves. Someone in there has to go, hang on a minute, this bloke scored a minute ago. Let's mark him up. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Because at this point, it's not... A, uh, things like that, though. This is the problem for Man United, which I don't think Chelsea have, and that's one of the big differences, is 
that isn't a tactical thing, that isn't a personnel thing, that isn't a lack of belief thing. That's common sense. Yeah. Even I, I mean, I, you know, even I would know, okay, this guy's just scored from a corner. Okay, they've got a corner. What's my first duty? I make sure the man who scored is being marked. Yeah, that's the ba- that's the basic, isn't it? Yeah, it's you beyond just, me. You think it's absolutely that. beyond me. But the basic, the fundamentals of football, the basic rules of football are being ignored by this Manchester United side. Yeah, and that's the thing as well is that Ten Hag's always gone on about how he has to comp- how he has to simplify it because he hasn't got the right players, hasn't got the right squad. But they're not doing the basics right. So Five what is what is that simplification? Five year olds can mark at a corner because it's, they're not getting complicated things wrong, mm-hmm. and they're not losing the ball because they're trying to be too ambitious in possession. They're not doing anything. That like, genuinely, they've not done anything in forty five yeah. minutes. When they get the ball, where does it go? Because I'm, I'm I'm at a loss yeah. for what they're doing in possession. The problem is, and like one of the reasons United don't improve anything is because Ten Hag, the players, the fans. Always find something else to blame it on. I was gonna say the excuses. You've someone's got to take account. The of it. loss on Thursday night. All all they've all they've said is Chelsea got two soft penalties and got lucky. Yeah. You know, no one's gone. We were terrible. But the the thing is, they're sixth in the league. So for now, they've got exactly. they, they've got enough excuses. Yeah. You know, they're sixth in the Premier While League. While they're still in Europe, they can blame losses on the on excuses. Once they once they drop lower, then they'll start to take responsibility. Well, exactly, because underlying numbers suggest this performance is completely. Like yeah. unsustainable. They're underperforming by eleven points this season. If you're the upper management there, you know this team with Eric Ten Hag will never compete for the Premier League title. So what you are they doing? Well, exactly. You, you, you cannot score if you don't have a shot. Simple as that. They haven't had a shot. They won't score. Yeah, it's ludicrous. Yeah, I agree. And maybe they don't have the right team. Maybe they don't have the perfect eleven for what he wants to play. Mm. Uh, Eric Ten Hag, but you have to adapt. You're a manager. That's what you do. When Klopp came in at Liverpool, he didn't look around and go, "Well, this is shit. We're gonna play four four two, lump it long because I don't like any of the players." He made it work, and they got European football for the first time in years. Yeah. He got them into the contention to fight for the Premier League title. They won a Premier League, and he built that up over years. Instead, you know, he didn't come into his first press conference and go, "Oh, it's not perfect. I want a bit more investment here, there, and yeah. everywhere." He got on with it. He made the team work. Think- Great managers can work with anyone, can get that, and it takes time. Ten Hag is just making excuses and changing up tactics when there's no reason to. Like, if you're good at tactics, show us. Yeah. Implement it with any team. I think he's been, I think he manages quite scared as well. Yeah. Because in the situation they're in, the way they play, you have to make statements. And for me, that statement's like bringing on one of those young attackers on the bench because your experienced front line hasn't had a single shot in 45 minutes. Changing yeah. your captain. How Bruno Fernandes is still Manchester United captain will always stun me. That man is the wow. least captain material I've ever seen. But the thing is, you say there about making changes. Ten Hag can't make changes. If Ten Hag makes changes, his whole game plan goes out the window. The, the game plan is, because there's no tactical or idea up front, the game plan is, let's hope Rashford or Bruno do something completely magical, or Garnaccio, or Hoyland. One of those four do something completely magical, because we're not actually going to do anything in possession. So we better hope one of those makes it up for okay. us because we're Let's not doing totally anything. something magical, but we won't give them a single chance <laughs> no. to do it. So good luck, guys. Yeah, and well, I mean, we've spoken a lot about Manchester United, but I think it would be unfair not to give Liverpool their kudos because the reason United are so stifled in possession is because Liverpool are so good. They yeah. jump up on immediately to those midfielders think, who then turn around, panic, get back to the defenders, and they do something completely it stupid. It feels like it. you don't have to address it because Liverpool do this every week. They do this every time they play against Man United. They've played so well. They've been superb. My one criticism is that their decision making is poor. But their decision making is that's the reason they haven't scored five. They've scored one and not five goals. But that doesn't really matter when you are winning the game. If, it, also, was, if it was nil nil, then I'd say okay, yeah, their decision making is letting them down. But they're winning the game. They're dominating it. They're cruising it. And United don't look like getting back in the game. So at the moment, they're kind. That's a kind of okay. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not even sure that you could even apply that decision making. Criticism yeah. to the whole team. I think a lot of that is Darwin Nunez. Yeah. And that is something he has improved on this season, but it's still something an area that needs improvement. But I don't think you can have much criticism lobbied at Liverpool today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been pretty flawless. Um, but, well, to be fair, the only thing I could say is that they haven't taken their chances. Now, often we'd say, will they go on to rue this? They absolutely will not, because they obviously haven't had a shot yet. Mm. Unless United change up massively, which isn't impossible, then Liverpool will walk to a win. 
It's yeah. just by what manner they want to get this victory. Because they could really, you know, throw a gauntlet today. Yeah. They could show that they're here to win the Premier League title. And Stapp had some goal difference. Yeah. Because if they got to seven today, suddenly they find themselves on plus 49, which is very close to, to Arsenal's plus 51. And that mm. does just give them a bit more security. So yeah. take the chances, Liverpool. Take the chances. You're gonna, they're going to keep coming, but you've got to bury them. And if yeah. not, United are gonna ha- are gonna have at least one shot in this half. You would imagine. And point. the only thing, Liverpool got nothing stupid. Don't get Bradley sent off. He's on a yellow. Don't do something stupid there. Don't make any errors. You will cruise to a victory, as you say. We're about to get underway for the second half quickly. Though Shari says trivia question for you guys: Who won the Ballon d'Or in 2020? It wasn't anyone because the Ballon d'Or was not awarded to anyone in 2020. It would have been Robert Lewandowski though. Mm. Okay, easy question. But yeah. thank you, Shari, for the little bit of trivia. Yeah, see United. We'll be looking to the Chelsea game after this. Chelsea win that. There's a lot of pressure on Manchester United's European hopes because a lot of teams behind yeah. them who are picking up if, points. If Tottenham win, they are confirmed Champions League football for next season because United are not making up that many points. Yeah. So even if United don't, even if Tottenham don't win, also there is interesting nine crowd, points between the them. That could be twelve. Camera has caught three people sitting sitting next to each other. Um, the Glazer. Can't, can't remember which one. Um, Avram or Joel? One of the two. Okay. Jim Ratcliffe and Sam Allardyce. <laughs> the gang. That is the new manager. Is Sam Allardyce going to Man United? Get that on your news article. There you go. Brad headline. Uh, Chelsea team, by the way, to play Sheffield United. Petrovic in between the sticks. Flat back four of De Sassi, Chalava, Silva and Mark Kukurea. A pivot of Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez. Palmer one side, Madaweke the other. Gallagher and Tamerfield and Jackson leading the line. I think my one thing would be that back four looks absolutely shite, but we shouldn't have any issues against Sheffield United. That back line's rubbish. I'd rather play Gilchrist than Chalaba. I don't know what this that, whole that back line is rubbish. Back thing is. It is rubbish. Silver I love, but he's past it. I'd have considered, crap. I'd have and he's not a right back. I'd have, I don't mind that because in possession, that, that's, an, that's a um, yeah. situational right. back three out in possession. Madawaka presumably on the right flank yeah. and he can hold the width. But my bigger question, Mark, is why we're persisting. I, I'd have given Chuck Wemmicker a go today. Yeah. The Sheffield United is going to have a lot of room on the edge of the box. Well, here we go. But... Big second half. Liverpool dominate. And Gallagher's not a creator. The one anyway. caveat we haven't talked about is it is only 1-0 and anything can happen in football. Yeah. One shot is all the Man United need to make this game 1-1. And then suddenly it's a draw. And we're looking at 15 shots to one, but it's a draw. Yeah, and that's that's a funny game sometimes. Shara says it was COVID nineteen falls and goes. Says that's what he said. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you for the defence, Gary. Anyway, it's uh oh, hopefully a very good end. To hopefully a very good second half. That will be at Liverpool to get us underway in this second forty five as they look to grab some goals. United looking a bit empty in that. Opposite stand, but I imagine that's just that a lot of people are still kicking their pies. I don't think they've left yet. So I was like, we'll knock it back at some point. And Taylor's just looking at the goalkeeper. Onana, just make sure Onana's ready. So then I'm, I'm going to just come out of the tunnel. He's getting the crowd going. Oh, no. Well, no, I was going to say, there. absolutely no one cares. No, saying, watch the game. Anyway, we're underway. We won't watch that, we're too busy watching Ten Hag for some reason. Darwin Nunez takes aim from range and it's just wide. Don't mind that. Early on. And I'm still walking down the line. I don't know why we're watching him. Neither. Don't know why he's not out on the pitch before the game kicks off. <laughs> what Matt again? You know, What's he up just, to? May night in Ten Hag just do things that no, like, How are you late? Need the toilet or something? I don't get it. He's not helped out by the fact of corners. Oh, that ball, looking for Salah, doesn't find Salah. Maguire deals with it on the edge of the area and hoofs it clear. Endo puts it back in the area. That one, Masaka heads away. McAllister goes back to his centre-half, who knocks it all the way back to Keller. He plays a nice pass to Robertson into McAllister. Liverpool coming forward. Good touch from McAllister. He's running away from Bruno Fernandes. McAllister still going here and despite Casemiro's strong challenge he's able to find Bradley now Mohamed Salah plays it to Soboslai to Bradley and he's kept that on just but that's going to be to no avail as it is going to be a free kick yeah again though decision making decision making yeah bit of a weird pass for Soboslai to make 
Don't know why Bradley's offside. Yeah. Could have just gone back to Salah and he would have just scored. United, right, okay. Predictions then. What minute will United have their first shot in? They won't. You think they're going to go the whole game out on a shot? Yeah, that's my prediction. Okay, I will go 67th. Okay. No, 63rd. Everyone in chat get involved as well. What minute will Man United I'll say, have a shot in? I'll say I have a 50, 52nd or they won't. Okay. I'm a sacker. You're going 52nd, I'm going 63rd. Maybe. Comes inside. Wrong. Nope, they lose the ball. Diaz, Nunez, they could break at speed here, Liverpool. Nunez just holds on to that ball a little bit too long there, Nunez, but they are, that is very well done because he finds Andrew Robertson. Robbo, ball in, dealt with by Maguire. Darwin, Nunez, blocked again block. by Harry Maguire. Oh, Casemiro take takes way to too long and it's cleared away there. And, someone and they, they could break. Rashford, his touch gets him away from Connor Bradley. Bradley's getting back in though. Rashford's still going. He's going to run himself off the pitch here. Uh, it's brilliant from Jarrod Quonser just to win the ball back there. And Rashford complains. I'm not sure he's complaining to. No, I think he's actually complaining to his teammates. Don't know what about. Salah takes it on the turn and plays. And he, oh, that is a deft touch to skip past Casemiro and Mainu, who's taking the whole piv out of the it's game. Brilliant. But what a tackle that is from Quambala. Oh, and Anthony Taylor dives in on Mainu, makes a big tackle. And now we've got to hold the game for a drop ball. Uh, Gary says, call me mature, but I'm having a kick reading Sheffield United's team sheet. Gerbich, Trusty, Arblaster, Bogan, McBurney. What a collection of names. I think they yeah. could score. I've They're going to be the court, random yeah. names you have to try and come up with in a pub quiz in a few. Like when people say, oh, name that, name that Derby team. Name players from that Derby team. Um, that, uh, of us, I imagine. I don't know. I don't know people that would know any players from the Derby team. But I can picture pub quiz, you know, name a player. Bit of trivia. Name a player who is in the worst Premier League team ever. Our blaster. Our blaster. So Gerbich starting off that howler. Uh, Ivo Gerbich is awful, but so is oh, Wes Fodderingham. So. Diaz Beautiful. now. One on one with Cambuala. And he's poked it towards Salah, but it's just cleared away by one for Saka. Diaz got through. Yeah. Because if so, I think he stepped up on that ball and put it on a corner. Robbo. Into Diaz, back to Robertson. Now Endo. Robertson. Exchanges a pass with Diaz. Now back to Van Dijk. Quantzer. Looks down the line, but we will go back to Virgil Van Dijk. It's a poor pass. Bruno Fernandes picks it up and he scores from range. That, that is a catastrophic goal for Liverpool to concede. Manchester United won, Liverpool won. And classic United, classic, classic United. They've been absolutely awful, but they find themselves level. And this is what we say about football, and this is shocking from Liverpool. Quanza robbed by Bruno. Kelleher's on the edge of his area. Bruno just looks up, smashes it from miles mm. out. Nestles in the corner, and somehow, somehow, Man United are levelling this football match. This is why I hate United, because they have been awful. They have been absolutely awful. Can I risk a red card there for the yeah. save? And, but also, this Yarrow Quanta, that is a shocking error. Yeah. And in a title race, in a game of this magnitude, to make an error like that is terrible. Kelleher, I, I get he's been the play, but he's miles off his line. Yeah, no, that's not his fault at all. They're in possession. Quanta shouldn't give the ball away like that. Uh, it's a shame yes. Kelleher didn't save that, because we were yeah. a, a glove away Adrian. from Adrian playing Premier League football for at least yes. a week. Probably Bruno two. gets his 50th goal. United score their first shot of the game from about 35, 40 yards out. Man, I can already see so it now, though. Jammy. Sky Sports... Bruno Fernandes, that is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, Bad even in, even in chat, Chowry has gone, Bruno, he's the Portuguese Magnifico. No, he's, he's smashed a ball in a goal I from... Saw that. He's smashed a ball in a goal, an open goal from 40 yards. Nothing magnificent about it. And uh, some... And this is exactly what we said to the Tech Team Scout. 
anything happens in football, you know, you only need one shot. That's close with that first shot of prediction as well. Nunez holds it up well, well waiting for Salah. But also... And he's okay, being manhandled by Cambuala. Right, and he gives it back. But the own. way they celebrated... You're going to celebrate that in a derby, though, aren't you? I, I get, you I get what you're saying. Cause they're, yeah, no, I, I can really get what you're saying. But that's what's, that's the whole thing at United right now. Yeah. It's regardless of how bad the performance is. That if the result is there, it doesn't but matter. If, if they draw now, 10 out, they get that and change room and they go, we are fantastic. That's a cracking the result. The border idiots, the fans in the stadium. Because I'd be, I'd be booing every game. Like we, They're playing awfully. I wouldn't have celebrated that, guy. I would say, of course you would. No, wouldn't. you're telling me if Chelsea were playing awfully against Tottenham and had a shot yet, and then it falls to Parma, just smashes it in. You're not jumping oh, no. down ten a, flights of chairs. If it was a one-off game, then yeah. But if like, we played like this every week, Meaning. United are coming forward here. This is Liverpool. This is comfort. They've got to be comfortable, and they didn't take their chances. They're cut and they are ruining the chances. If you said no, as we all said, they wouldn't do. Here is Alejandro Garnacho. Take same. It deflects over the bar. United are coming alive what in this is game. Happening? What is happening in this football match? I, I can't describe what I'm watching. We watched 45 minutes of pure domination. And now, seven minutes into the second half, May United have equalised and are now coming forward. I'll tell you exactly what I'm watching. It's exactly the same as Thursday. It's exactly the same. And Chelsea, you know, got away with it there. But teams play so well against United for the first half. Then United get some jammy goal that means they're level. And then suddenly United come alive in the game. And and then you go on to either lose or draw off. Jesus Christ. Wow, Liverpool. ball put by Rashford. No one touched it. And Keller managed to prevent it going in the far corner. Liverpool just, just switched off. I don't know why teams do this against United. They are one of the worst teams in the Premier League. But yeah, not, e not even joking. They are one of year. the worst teams. And, in he, the and he picks this game at Old Trafford to slide Bruno Fernandes for on goal. To hand it to Liverpool on a silver platter. I know he's a young lad and I don't want to get into him, but you can't, in a title race, in a, game, in a derby, in a game like this, you can't not make that mistake. By Sobber and now they, they come Liverpool. They have an overload. Got to get the decision right, though. Salah, Diaz, should score, pokes it across. Nunez is missed. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Le Nunez has cost Liverpool. Again. Again. It's a brilliant attack. All the decisions are perfect. She both nice run. Brilliant. Fancy United's Salah. players jogging yeah. back. The, par the pass Salah, good. Pass to Diaz from Salah, great. Diaz so smartly plays it to Nunez. Who did right it come foot? off? Who did it come off? Right foot. Who does this come off that look? No one. He no. Put, that's what I'm saying. He, 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 he put, it's he, awful. If Dallow hadn't put it out for a corner, it'd have gone out for a throw. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Robertson ball in. Headed away. Salah heads it up in the air. Now Bradley heads it back in there. Headed down by, by Casemiro. And Maynard has a brilliant tackle from Macasa to win back possession. Picks out Sobers lie in acres of space. He tries to play it through the lines into Robertson. Where's United to midfield? Bradley. <laughs> they don't have one. Holly Loon's in there at the minute. Yeah. What are they doing? Oh, and Taylor's fucking blocked another ball. Sobers like trying to chip one out wide. He's trying and to this, laugh. This bloody bald man has just... <laughs> He made two tackles. Locked him in the back of the edge. He's playing like the magic man, but in the opposite way, he he, he plays for whoever's defending. Just get out of the way, you pleb. Is Liverpool come forward, Bradley? Oh, you're always in the way. It's because he likes to be involved. He's actually close. <laughs> like, per play. Take away interceptions and Liverpool coming forwards. Connor Bradley bursting into the box, trying to play the ball across. Juan Basaka gets across to it well. The mental thing is that United are 35 minutes away from drawing this game. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous, mate. Right? Absolutely ridiculous. But as Gary says, this would put Arsenal back on top of the Premier League. Yeah. I still think City are going to win the title. Shabosh Lai, edit away. McAllister recycles. Shabosh Lai picks it up. Sovis Lai, McAllister. Finds Robertson. Bradley. Endo 
has to avoid the referee before trying to get a shot away. Diaz, Nunez. Might take aim, Darwin Nunez. It's blocked. Bruno heads it away back to Nunez. Don't know why he's tried to turn there, but it falls to Bradley who gets it to Nunez who falls over the ball. They're going to have to have Darwin Nunez after yeah. they want to win today, Liverpool, because he's just making so many errors. He's it's missed right. three big chances. Yeah. He's falling over the ball. It's just making it's it's, it's been terrible today. Here is Salah back towards Soberslai. He plays it into Bradley. Thought Bradley was going to win a penalty there. Back to Salah in the box. He's so done really well to give it a line. McAllister blocked. So many Head over by Rashford. Yeah, you're not just defending at the moment. It's just, oh, we're all standing in the box. I can't score. Everyone's skipping past it. You know, Liverpool are going to skip past seven players. They play it to their mate, who's also got to skip past seven Knock it back to your defence. Invite United to press and just score. And just don't skip the ball to Nunes. And now Craig Porter... And this is what annoys you at plot, right? Now things aren't going his team's way. He's now going to chew the ear off of the fourth official, who is just yeah. blanking him. It's very smart from Craig Porter. But that's the frustrating part. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm waiting for here. Bam Sack is holding the ball. What's it started for? Or was he just holding the ball? There we go. He finally throws it. And then does that. He's launched it in the air into his own penalty. How is that not taken advantage of? Dallow made up a lot of yards with this drive. Bruno gets stuck in his feet, but he gets away with it. Now plays it out wide to Marcus Rashford. Rashford puts the ball into the box, and that somehow made its way through to Kelleher. But Liverpool are going to go, and they're going to go quickly. Diaz just That's shimmies pathetic. inside That's there. No effort from Casemiro. from Casemiro. Bruno commits a foul, but Taylor just waves, get up. I guess it. Bradley coming forwards now, tries to fashion a fast to Salah, but Maguire intercepts it. And now Bradley wins it back. Sobberslai, Salah. Sobberslai puts it in there. Nunez at the back post brings it down. Wants to take a shot. Pass it instead. Mainly with a big tackle to hold on to the shot. How is that? Oh about? no, he's Taylor. flown into the tackle and hurt himself. Oh, oh Ampy Taylor, do it does best, ruin the game. It mainly hurts because he's flown into the tackle. Yeah, that's on him. I mean, that's a terrible idea for Nunes. McAllister goes to shoot. Oh, he doesn't touch him, referee. Doesn't touch him, referee. United of the Masters is this. As I say, they yeah. play awfully. They create nothing. They do this little sh bits of shithousery all game. And they come away with something in the end of it somehow. Every single time without fail. Every time. Ridiculous. I just I don't get it. I really don't know how a football club. I don't know how they get away with it. How can you have one shot in a game in a game of football? Sixty minutes through, they three, won, three shots, one on three target. Now, they? but they went forty. The whole 0 .1 first half XG. didn't have a shot, and they got one effort through a, a massive mistake from Quanza. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, their goal was zero point zero four XG. If uh, if Liverpool if Liverpool convert every chance that was equivalent to that or over that, they'd be winning t like. 15-1. That's the difference. Ridiculous. United's chance just fell for them perfectly. Liverpool have missed a lot of chances, but they've... It's not... I don't, I just don't know. I mean, they've had four big chances in this game, Liverpool. Nunes has missed three of them, and the other one them scored. Yeah. What's Taylor shouting about? He's a not... He, he's a, for a he's for let Liverpool. Bradley creep up the line, creep up the line, creep up the line. And then he's only blown the whistle when he's thrown the ball. Sovaslai, Bradley, no idea who's passing that to. Wamba Saka brings it down poorly, but gets away with it. Rashford, Wamba Saka, Casemiro. Makasa plays it towards Nunez. Here is Mohamed Salah, plays it back towards Nunez. Good chance from Cam Waller in there, but still Liverpool keep going. And I'm not sure. I'm waiting for Nunez again. Nunez is I know what Nunez is trying to do, though. He just doesn't execute it. No. Tries to play Salah in behind. Doesn't exactly come off. Here's Harry Maguire. Wamba Saka. Plays it across to Maguire. Cambuala. Dallow. 
main egg. Surely I've got to look at changes, right, to, to yeah. win this game. 100%. Players on the pitch will not do it for him. I'd be looking Gakpo through the middle. Yeah. Is he off on the bench? No. Still injured. I injured, well, I injured again. Oh, yeah. He came back for a bit and got injured again. I turned it over again, Liverpool. Here's Mohamed Salah. A moment of magic from Mo will be big. Sobos lie gets Rare, caught by Casemiro. I get his Again, though, he's, he's wearing the wrong shirt there, though. Here's Rashford. That's a really good shout from the Chelsea. I know both in red. Tell him what nobody gives it to him. Even his red shirt. Well, only United and Arsenal. Well, no, because Liverpool as well. We sent Reese James. Oh, he just hates, yeah, hates Chelsea. Got that. So he puts it in and it's cleared away. And Lewis Diaz looks tired. I think he might be a bad ref. I don't think he's biased. It's yeah, no, just it's a terrible ref. Full proof of Bruno Fernandes is apparently on side and he can't eat. He doesn't even shoot. Why is he praying to That's the That's not ball? even a shot. Why did he immediately look up at the linesman and pray? What do you think he's going to do? Oh, well, he was on side, so give the goal. Sobberslai, Nunez. Puts it in there. Maguire yeah, heads it away. The would have gone up and the game would have been stopped and Liverpool got their free kick. Sobers lie and it's oh, well, a blocked good. effort from Robertson. Out for a I'm throw. Casemiro has, down, has unfortunately Casemiro's played suffered another football a game. major injury. You're take a ball to the stomach. But uh, you know, yeah, United off the bench do have a bit of danger. They could look at Anthony if they want to stop going forwards. Hmm. Well, I'll go forwards anyway. I'll Speaking of Anthony, as Gary mentions, Ajax... Getting battered 6 0. Yeah, we right might now. need to talk about that in the midweek. We've got a lot we could cover this week. Henderson must be really dedicated to growing the game of football in Amsterdam. <laughs> Sharon says United are Atleti, but they play way worse before scoring. I completely disagree. I complete. I could disagree more. Sorry, Sharon. I couldn't disagree more. Atleti, though they might look boring because they don't have loads of shots, it's disciplined, it's regimented, it's organised. The point is to suffocate the opposition and frustrate the opposition. I think they do have chances. Yeah. And they do know when to, to go for as an attack and, Gomez. and pose a threat. United don't. United just get very fortunate that teams don't score goals. Atleti don't go, well, we got really lucky here that the opposition didn't score. They knew the opposition wouldn't score because they jump in front of every ball. They, yeah. they block every shot. They play brilliant defensive football, counter-attacking football. It has developed this season. Oh, I let his shape has a, a system has looked a little bit more attacking yeah. this year, um, but obviously when we get to playing Champions League second legs and away legs, it's not going to look anything like that. But um, no, United are completely different. United have absolutely well, both sides no organisation. United will look to answer in a few moments. Liverpool. We're chasing this win are going to Joe Gomez and Curtis James and Rashford. <laughs> I shall in, enough. Injured. Uh, he's, uh, that jogging's really got to him. Mm. Sharon says, I forgot to add they are a shit version of them. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But the thing is, I don't even know what style of United are trying to play. I'd love to sit down and tell her and go, what are you trying to do with the ball? Because we have no idea. Look, I watch them. No idea what they're trying to do. Is it Gagan pressing? Because they don't press very well. Is it Teak attacker? Because they don't move, they don't hold the ball very well. It's a control possession. They don't hold the so ball very Gomez well. And Curtis James going to come for Liverpool. Harvey Elliott's getting some instructions, but not ready to come on yet. And here come the changes for Liverpool. It is going to be Conor Bradley coming off. But Joe, that makes sense. Nothing stupid now. They don't need Bradley yeah. getting a second yellow. And Shabodzai will be replaced by Curtis James. He is a man that could get this win across the line for Liverpool. Yeah. Bradley off as well. Gomez in it right back. We saw how... Is it time for him to score his first Liverpool goal? Yeah. We actually, first well, to be fair, Gomez was the moving part in the FA Cup semi-final, which actually meant United won. Because what they were able to do was draw Joe, was get Joe Gomez very high up the pitch, draw him very high up the pitch, and then pounce on the counter-attack. Yeah. And expose Liverpool. So maybe that's advantage United. It's going to find out. They're 25 minutes still yeah. locked in here at 1-1. And Onana has got this over this free kick for United. And they get the ball rolling once again. Can Liverpool's fresh legs launch them and get them across the line? Oh, they need them to. Maguire. Cambuala. Back to Harry Maguire. Bruno Fernandes. And Curtis Jones using that fresh legs to bring the press 
to cause mistakes for United, and that's what he's done. But yeah, give it a straight back, Liverpool. Fernandez, Casemiro, no idea what that is. Kobe Mainu. But how has that worked? An overhead kick pass. Still coming for us, Mainu. Good ball out wide. Alejandro Garnacho. Garnacho. Juan Vasaka. Mainu. Takes same roll. That is a brilliant effort from the youngster. Manchester United somehow lead this game 2 1. Kobe Mainu. Brilliant effort. Wow. I have no idea how this has happened. No idea how this has happened. Liverpool look crestfallen. Liverpool look frustrated and defeated. And now they'll bring on Cody Gakpo as well. But United have somehow found themselves in the lead here. And that's what they do every week. I say it every time. But how are United in the position they are? Because that's not on merit. They had no shots in the first half. 15 <laughs> shots to none in the first 45 minutes. And in this second half... Bruno scored from 40 yards out because Quanta gave him the ball. Yeah. And Kobe Mainu has picked the ball up here on the edge of the area yeah, and laid it. Got to get touch tight. Such a good it's Jones. It's the substitute, yeah, Jones. You've got to get touch tight. And the bit there, like, is, is United fans are now going to wank over him for the next two days. You've got to get touch tight, Curtis Jones. That is awful. And again, Alisson saves it, but. You can't really blame that on Kelleher. Yeah, it's a, it's a very it's good a shot. Effort. That's not top four, no. No. And Klopp is furious because Liverpool have thrown this away. And our teams do it against United every single in time. And now another two changes for Liverpool. Cody Gakpo and Harvey Elliott are going to come on. And they will be replacing... Wataru Endo and my best guess is Darwin Nunes. Has to be, surely has to be. Yes. Yeah. He's been really poor today. Just to compare some stats. Five shots to 21 shots. One big chance, which they missed, by the way, for United. I'm not sure what that was. No. Oh, uh, yeah, no idea. Um, compared to four big chances and three missed. 0 0.32 XG and they've scored twice. Liverpool generated 2.11 and they've scored just once. How do they get away with this every single time? Don't get me wrong, they've been a lot better in the second half. Liverpool have really fallen off in this second half, but they should have been so fired in the first. Again, it feels like a complete replica of a Thursday night, in which case we're in for a banging extra time period. But what is happening? Samaisas did not see that one coming. No, nobody did. Not in a million years. It shouldn't be. It's a farcical result. I just don't get how they do United it. must be such a frustration for any like de data analysts and for tacticos out there. I just don't get because how they do it. What? Yeah, how is it successful to play shit every week? There is no explainable reason for a football team to have not you know to not have a shot in the first half, be absolutely pulled yeah. to park for the whole game, and now with 20 minutes well, to go, they're winning. Yeah, don't get me wrong, this happens sometimes. Sheffield United have won a game this season, so this must have happened before in football. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. With How does it happen so consistently with United? How every single game do they get away with playing awfully for 45 minutes, letting the opposition have an mm. absolute shit ton of efforts that they should be scoring? Onana makes a load of saves, and then suddenly they get a lucky goal that they don't deserve, and they burst into life. How does that happen every match? And Diaz is running himself into trouble here. Yes. Hoy Luna has fouled him there. Oh, no. How has he given that the other way? How and, has Anthony Taylor given that the other the way? Problem. There's this three fouls in this. there on Diaz. The referee gets yeah. involved in this. Everything's piling up against Liverpool now. They need to dig deep. they got this title, they need to prove that now. Do what Chelsea did. Chelsea broke the curse. You know, yeah. Chelsea broke the curse, scored two goals late on. Liverpool need to do that. This is abysmal. For the Reds, they need to sort it out. They've got 20 minutes to do so. That was handball. Taylor didn't fancy it anyway. Lino's not playing anymore. Yeah, they've been so bad. They've been terrible. Very good from Onana. Yeah. Shara says, can you name the parallels between 7-0 and this game again? No, I can't, unfortunately, because Liverpool have missed so many chances there. They could be 7-0 up. They, they've created as many chances as they did in that 7-0 victory. And United have been just as poor. Liverpool have missed so many chances. And well, not just as poor. They've got a Nana in goal. If they had De Gea, they would have lost today 7 0. It's, it's shocking that United find themselves in this position. Oh, and also on that day, Jarrell Conser didn't pass it to Bruno. 
if they had, maybe it would have been a different result. And and I uh, getting asked the other point. Uh, I take it Canate's injured, and so is Canate's on the bench today. But I think he was he was injured. Mm. That's not a rotation. Not like going. We've got United this week. We'll play a rotated side. <laughs> and obviously Trent's still not back from injury. I just don't know. That's and Allison good. as well. Quan's had a good season, but that is a terrible error to make. Yeah. I don't. You know, I, I get these. All in now from United, and it's punched it's away. And I don't know. No, no I idea that came off there, I but it will be a little. He's goal played goal. enough games this season, Quanza, for that to not be classed as a, a rookie error. Like not to not be classed as a, a youth, you know, youth I, player. Yeah, it is still a and a mistake though made probably because he is. Yeah. Young. Uh, Liverpool do have the most points from losing positions, by the way. There's one side that are brilliant about getting it late to the death. It's Liverpool. So there's one team that's more lucky than United. It's Liverpool. <laughs> it's Liverpool. But when you get to Old Trafford, that that go, you know, that dissipates. Yeah. Here's the answer being held. How is Taylor not warding a free kick like, there? I, and Boyle does it all the time, I would by the way. Like to add, I, the fifth time noted him do that day, not, just grabbing a shell I'm or grabbing not doing a this because I like Liverpool. I don't like Liverpool. I hate Liverpool, but. Look, I don't hate anyone more than United. And we said this on Thursday night quite a few times. I cannot stand Man United. I cannot stand the football team. Who I've never known a team to deserve to win. It, it's the it's the fact that fans and pundits of, of the club will act like they've played really well and that they deserve to be in the position they are and that they, they're just this, this huge, brilliant football club and they play shit every week. I actually just fired a shot straight at her. And that one really should have been a goal. <laughs> if you right, Roy, it again there. And, and, and this is the thing, and they all do the same. And the fans, the pundits, you know, Neville, Keane, whoever it is, when they're losing, Glazers, Glazers, 10 out, 10 out, oh, this, oh, this, we're so unlucky. When they're winning, oh, this player, 10 out, so good, this player's so good, oh, don't care about the Glazers. I'm not sure who they praise anymore. Themselves? That's what, that's what they tend to do, those... But they get, they'll give it to Bruno. The Fergie boys. Mind you, Christ no. alive, they're going to have oh, well, obviously. so much fun with him. Yeah. The Fergie boys will go, this is the United spirit, though. This, when I, you remember when I used to play? But that's no, all they the do. The fans will give it to Bruno, and that's why he's captain, because he's... Finally, they've material. ordered Liverpool for a free kick. When Cam White has something completely erratic. And Klopp is absolutely seething, and rightfully so. he can see the Premier League title slipping away, and Pep Lind, Pep Lind is just coming over and calm down, calm down, calm down. Bruno again, another talking to. How many man? How many times can this man get a talking to? This is reckless from. Campbell that's a high Kamala. stud. Yeah. That's a that's a very if, if high. The ball, and the, if the ball's not there, that's a red card. I'm not. I'm not. And I mean, look at Klopp's reaction. How is Campbell? He's a reckless player. What do they do at Carrington? Is it called Carrington? The little yeah. Because you know? they've had they had. Oh, he has been booked. To be fair, they had that Hannibal. Era. Yeah, he was a he's. Matured player. under Marco Silva. That that Hannibal Medjury bloke, who I swear went round every game looking to so murder people. Luckily, that's not off to severe now, so we don't have to see it very often. You had yeah, he does all that until he meets Simeone Ball and yeah. Savage and Hermoso threatened to beat him up. But they had Zidanic Bauer, I think was a bit of a nutter when they had him. He's matured now. He's at Utrecht. At Utrecht. Um, and now this bloke. What do they do in there? Like when they beat the uh, Liverpool 18s 9 1 the other day, that. they just smash into oh, it. Oh, that's shocking. Terrible Gap, pass, right? Cody Gap, bro. And the, I think it's the big thing that's crazy more is that Liverpool need two goals because United don't even deserve a point. Yeah, by the way, Liverpool's players need to get a barber as well because that's a, that can't be helping. No. Salah's trim looks terrible. Gap looks just... terrible. And Curtis uh, Jones. Where, what, the United is coming from. A, I hate Man United nothing more than anything else. The other thing is, this is Chelsea's European chances being hurt by the fact that Liverpool are handing a win to Man United. I'm saying United get handed wins every single week. I don't think that really impacts our European chances, though, because, you know, West Ham, Newcastle, Brighton. I honestly think oh, if yeah. United lost today and we win against Sheffield United, yeah, Chelsea Yeah, because then we, we just have to win, but now we have to rely on them dropping points at some point. But they, I can't, they can't beat Arsenal in the final game. They just, in the final game, they just can't. They'll beat Liverpool here, beat Arsenal, and then get hand seat the title. Yeah. Yeah, they've got Brighton as well, haven't they, final day of the season? I mean, Liverpool. Liverpool have... also with the most goals. Goals All the stats six, six minutes. Even now, from the losing position, everything points to Liverpool winning this game. And they're coming forward now. He was Try to the ball in there. Drops for Diaz. He 
Puts it up in the air. Why would he put it up in the air? Gomez strikes one. It takes a deflection. Oh, no, I spilled it, but Salah can't react to it. I thought Joe Gerrard might find his first senior goal just when Liverpool needed it. I thought he got it. one. No. At some point. But yeah, he doesn't go off a Liverpool. This is hanging on by Red. Got an assist. I don't get how many. I, I honestly, I don't understand this football club. And yeah, you're right, Gary. Arteta, Guardiola must be running knee sliding around their living room. Yeah, Gary also says Liverpool's top challenge being spoiled by United of all teams. I don't think it's spoiled. I still think there's a lot of football to be played. You know, we saw with City against Crystal Palace in the early stages, there but is a fallibility. Two points clear today. Yeah, yeah, Arsenal still got to play Chelsea, and I don't think that's. You know, a lot of people go, oh, that's obviously a win. I don't think that is the case. We've seen this season how City have struggled against Chelsea, how Liverpool haven't. But Arsenal did in that first game, and they got very, very lucky to come over the draw in that game because that should have been a loss. Again, if we didn't give them the win, that's the difference, isn't it? You know, Chelsea play well and hand other teams the win. United play terrible and get handed the win every yeah. game. Burnley, Arsenal, Jarrod Kwanzaa. Nearly get to United. Plays out wide. Harvey Elliott puts the ball in there, headed away by Willy Cambuala. I think I look to United and I go, who has played well today? Onana. <laughs> you know, I don't think the full backs have been bad. Um, the goal scorers haven't done anything. Mine is a decent player. It's crazy to me how the football, as soon as they start winning, the football ratings shift to green for some reason. They've not done better, they've just scored some goals. Yeah. They've still played terribly. Joe Gomez running down the right. Barnes, not Barnes, Elliot. Ball in, Diaz gets up. Casemiro. Hits. Casemiro here's Gomez. Shifts it to Diaz, saves. Salah, he's missed an. Open goal, man. How? How do United get away with this shit? Salah, one of those lethal, potent goal scorers in the Premier League, has just missed within the six-yard box. He's smashed it over the bar. How do United consistently get away with it? I mean, this is a brilliant save anyway from Onana. Pushes it away. Salah should Mo score. Salah. No Mo idea. Well, the no idea he doesn't score that. He's one of the best footballers in the world. And when he comes to Old Trafford, and he's, his record at Old Trafford is unbelievable. So what right. are you not doing? Hammer bats on the pitch now. Liverpool have to win. Jordan will order a penalty instantly, Taylor. Save They've yourself. They've got an action and put Hammer bat on. That speaks volumes. They're literally just putting everyone on the back. And Onana takes the yellow. So he is now, he cannot time waste anymore. If not, he's sent off. And we get to watch Tom Heaton. And he's still taking his time, referee. I'll tell you what, Oliver, in the reverse fix, sent Dallow off for taking too long. Down. Certainly and Dyke wins the, the header. Big Blind. header from Maguire out of play. Blind into that. Ten minutes to go. Still Man United lead somehow. Football is a funny game sometimes. McAllister turns around for Saka well. Now Salah. McAllister, Gomez, poor pass, cool. and here come United, not, not for long. Kwanzaa picks up on the ball, gives it to Gakpo, Gakpo shifts it out wide, it's a poor pass from Gakpo that Diaz is going to have to work to Gakpo recover. Gakpo's not been better than Nunez since he came on. No, it's been shoddy. It looks like he hasn't played football in a very long time. Diaz, and that's a good chance from Anthony. Well, he appeal, he's no kicked. idea. If we're dis disrespected, just remember United's number seven is Mason Mount. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he could do well at United. He's not. He's played one game. He scored. So it's a revelation, really. Quanza. Van Dyke. Yeah, it just feels like it's not going to come for Liverpool. There's been so many times where. Uh, that's a poor tackle again. That should be a yellow for Anthony. It probably won't be, though. No. Here's Quanza. Elliot. McAllister. Salah. This is really good football, Elliot. Here's Joe Gomez. 
Ball That's in. Not a first time the ball. Elliot heads it. Salah back to. Oh, that's, that's a handball. Yeah, that's that's a penalty. I don't know. That is a penalty. I don't know. Oh, He's controlled know. that with his arm. Quonsa, Elliot, Salah, Elliot. Well, that's, that's certainly a penalty, penalty isn't yeah. it? Taylor's given <laughs> it. Jesus Christ. And Wan Bissaka just wiped out Harvey <laughs> Elliot with nine minutes to go. Stonewall, what is he thinking? Christ. What is Mate. he thinking? There's two in there. Casemiro's playing basketball. Is and then you... Terrible defending. Elliot skips away from him, sticks a leg out, yeah. brings down the midfielder, Stonewall penalty, Taylor has no choice but to point to the spot. That's clumsy. It's so clumsy. Yeah. Some people blame Rashford for that. But it's still isn't in, then. fully there. Because Mo Salah has been hit and miss <laughs> from the spot this season. And has had a very well, good game. I was going to say, today he's missed a lot of chances. I think McAllister might take it. No, he'll give it to Salah. Are you he? sure? Yeah, he will. I've got both my FPL team, so I'm not complaining. McAllister is known to be a pen taker. I'm not, I think it probably will be Salah, but it's not impossible McAllister takes it. He's going to hand the ball over to Mo Salah. Harry Maguire's going to say something to him. That would put me off. Just score while he's like, well, while Nile's having a drink. Huge moment in the title race. He scored 31 of 38 penalties he's taken for Liverpool, and, uh, but he has missed four of his last 11. So he's on a bit of a bad run, Mohamed Salah. This is a huge moment. It's massive. There is so much pressure on this penalty. Potentially the Premier League title. Because if Liverpool score this, they for me, they score a third. If Liverpool eat rise now, they score a third. If they, they don't, this is probably gay. This is huge. For Liverpool. Liverpool fans can't watch. Well, I think they might be United fans. Oh, United fans, no one can The ball watch. won't stop. The, because of the wind, the ball will not sit on the penalty spot. It will finally stay stationary. Mo Salah against Andre Onana. Salah. Square on with the ball. Takes a deep breath. Shoulders down. Takes the pen and slots it home. Liverpool level, Man United 2. Liverpool 2. Mohamed Salah from the spot. And we are back to parity. Seven to play. Liverpool need a goal. And look at that reaction. He don't celebrate. He don't care. He gets the ball out of the net. Puts it on the centre circle. Liverpool right here. And look at Klopp's expression. He's smiling now because he knows if there's one Liverpool side to do it, it will be this side to score a third in seven minutes. Great penalty. Cool, calm, collected. Doesn't try and find a corner. Yeah. Sees Onana going one way. It's puts really it the good. other. Really good from Salah. Great penalty. FPL points in the bag, Liverpool back level, and now, with six minutes left to play, out of the original 90, you would think that Liverpool will push on and find a third. But can United spur a comeback? Maybe so. And, but Liverpool won the ball hard. Here come Liverpool. You just think you know it's it. Salah now has the most goals against Manchester United in the Premier League era. That's incredible. Could he add to or, that? Or you're like, just shit. Yeah. And Mainu is off for Mason Mount. So they're back to a 4 2 3 1 United. Yeah. And they'll look to try and get something from this game. I just don't know what I said the forward had a good game. Elliot cuts inside, he panics and dives in. Yeah. He's not left footed. No. Oh, and that's a ball down the line to Robbo. Camboala heads it away. That's poor for Ante trying to hack it clear. Diaz, Jones, McAllister, Quonsa. Does get that pass right that time. As it stands, Arsenal would still lead the table, but Liverpool be joint on points with Arsenal. Cody Gakpo. You've got Liverpool fans begging for a third. You've got United fans willing to hold on. Pitt in the European race want a Liverpool goal. Arsenal City fans want a United goal. This game has so many permutations for how this season could end. This next five minutes is absolutely massive. Yeah. Jones. Robertson. Plays Diaz in behind. Luis Diaz oh. in a foot race here against Dallo. Dallo does really oh, well. Really? That should be a corner. No, it isn't. Apparently not. Both players are down in the, yes, in the yeah. ditch. Dallo's holding his balls. Diaz, not sure what he's hurt. Why does that run down into the sideboard? So dangerous. Yeah, I don't know. 
Taylor to go and make sure they're all right. Do you feel they haven't invested anything in the stadium, so no, they're not no. going to... No, they're not going to put the pitch down. Got the steel for them, not the roof first, and then maybe we'll wear out the pitch. Three, well, I think we have plenty of additional time now, aren't we? Yeah, I'd imagine so. Every game, massive boat. Liverpool got Palace next week. Arsenal got Villa. It's not, it's, it's not some, not, there's some hard, difficult pictures in there. Liverpool still got the Merseyside Derby as well on the 24th of April. Maguire, uh, no, I no idea what he's trying to do there, but he's kicked the ball out of play. Gomez with, with the throw in now on this near side. He's going to go down the line and find Diaz. Holds his ground well. I mean, Maguire is holding on to him. No idea that's not a foul. Neither. No, like, I don't get it. No. Cambuala and Maguire have been doing it all I game. Like, I get it. Back. Taylor can't see that. But Lino stood right Just grabbing there. him, grabbing him. Gra literally had a, had a hold of his arm there. And Diaz had some words for him. That she's went, you what, mate? <laughs> Probably. Salah. Oh, that's poor. Ah, oh, luckily, that's... I'm about to crap. I <laughs> don't get why he's here. Well, that's, I, don't, I don't know what you know. I do when when players join their club because he was that's really bad. good. We you know watched him at the World Cup, watched him for Fiorentina a few times last season. Sort of you know Conference League finals again that stand out to me. Oh, that's he, Billy from Jones. He's a brilliant player or can be. Oh, really good, good, really good. Dropping him between the centre halves, receiving the yeah. ball, getting involved in the play, linking it up. Doesn't have that at this United no. side. Uh, it's, it just just sort of goes around being bad. That was well thought. From Hoy Loon. I don't think he. Oh, oh, he did. Oh, he didn't touch him. Oh, I think if the left foot did land on top of. Probably it would be a good tackle if he wasn't blocked by Hoy Loon. Right, two minutes to go then, everyone. Are Liverpool scoring a winner? Will United score a winner? Dare I entertain the idea? Concert is going to smash it up in the air. That's not what Liverpool need. You don't want the ball in the air. Gakpo going to bring this forward. He is on the drive. He's been smashed into a wan but Salah's drawn goal. Mo Salah. Oh, oh. What a recovery by Bruno Fernandes. All goes long. Quanza, a minute to play of regulation time. Not long left in this game. Yarrow Quanza. Gomez. Goes to Elliot. Gomez. Shall we says every player every player's worth version of themselves at United, Lukaku, Di Maria, Sancho, Ronaldo, twenty twenty two. Yeah, I mean the list is endless. Daily Belind, Onda Herrera. To be fair, everyone wasn't too bad. Edison Cavani, Radama right Falcao. Well, what a touch from Elliot. Into Gomez. Ball's gonna fall to how's it how is it not? I just can't oh. get it home. But United can't get that in penalty area. Robo. Ball Put in. some ball in, and it's cleared away by Fernandez. And Liverpool are knocking on the door. How many minutes this time are we going to get? About to find out. It is going to be an additional seven, seven minutes of additional time. For old Trafford, we might have got two. Robert's going to put it in. Why is Taylor lining up at the back of this back of this little <laughs> train? Nods at home. This, so you got Gap Pope called to a man like in a train and every Taylor the referee's just got up behind and just stood there. Robbo puts it in. Salah. Oh, he's given a free kick and oh, that's Mike Maguire clumsy. just sat down. Blundy from Liverpool though. There's plenty says, of time left in this game though. Shara says, Oh yeah, I totally forgot Cavani actually played for United, that's how bad he was there. Yeah. Even Zlatan wasn't Zlatan. Nah, that's right, it's worse, but I won't. Mm. It's, it's not saying, it's, I think it's not even the players that, that the players were good for United, some of them, but they weren't, the, they were still the mm. worst you know, version of themselves. One matter. Yeah. One of the best players in the Premier League at Chelsea. Yeah. And then, I don't know why he joins United. Neither. 
We'll never understand that. But, um... Why not Mourinho time, though? That was a weird time. What is Maguire doing? He's just touching up Salah there. He's hurt his hand. Oh, he's out for the Euros. What a shame. He hurt his hands. He thought, I'm oh, he's still I'm going. going. Get on all fours and just grab Salah's legs. <laughs> Hello, Mo. <laughs> he's tickling me as under his spine. My arm hurts, Mo. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Man United throw. Five minutes remain at Old Trafford. Still 2-2. Two, two. Guy says Cavani was actually having a good a good run one season. So they bought Ronaldo and made him the centre forward. Yeah, Ronaldo was a terrible purchase for United. That was all commercial based. I mean, they made the money back. So it's not, it, it's not actually a terrible purchase. But he never fit the squad and they tried to shoehorn him in and it was never going to work. Gap- I feel like that was probably the... Oh, Cody Gaffer, what a run. Oh, referee has a red card for the back. That is a... Yellow cards for Mason Mount. It's a bad tackle. Tactical tackle. Liverpool are going to score the winner, aren't they? Says Shari. They should. That'll bring peace and justice to the world. You're not now picking up yellows. So not can't peace. To run. Justice. Gomez slots down the line to Harvey Elliott, who forces it in. He forces by, it. In. By the way. 3.26 xg to 0.65. I cannot describe disgusting. how much a robbery this would be. It's disgusting. If, if Liverpool don't win this game. Van Dyke. Jones. Jones. Six big chances created for them. Only it's four. Ridiculous. Only two of those have converted the other four miss. But Liverpool are really pushing. Ball into the box from Elliot. Jones will win it in the air. Falls for Diaz! Who blocked Oh him. my god. Luis Diaz misses a glaring opportunity. And Amrabat and Anthony are fighting. Now, Anthony did something and got himself booked, and Amrabat just went, What the f are you doing, you clown? What's going on? This team. Or... Like, Anthony felt he was fouled by Robbo, so he got up and said, Ah, oh, oh, what a miss. What a miss. Oh, my God. So, Anthony felt he was fouled and then kicked off about it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, confirmation, Anthony has been booked. Again, frustration, panic, growing for United. <clears throat> Quonsa, Van Dyke. Jarrell Quonsa. Switches the play, Dallow chests it down, now clears it away, McAllister falls to Anthony, United are breaking, Anthony, still going Anthony, Bruno, one back by goes. And now Liverpool turn defence into attack. They're pushing, they're really pushing. Still can't believe they're not winning this football game. Yeah, Shari says Lewis Diaz slipped. Gary says that's what they all claim. Yeah, he was reaching, to be fair, for the ball. It was not an easy chance, but... yeah, That far out. It's not like Salah's where he blasted it away in the six-yard box for no real reason. Yeah. Two minutes remaining at Old Trafford. Maguire heads away. McAllister keeps it alive. Jones brings it down. Fouled by Amrabat. Ref gives. Van Dijk gets it moving. Liverpool oh, get the ball rolling as quickly as possible. That has to find Diaz. Pass. But it's over hit and misplaced. And now more time being chewed up by the United keeper, who hasn't got can't take too long about it. He rolls the ball out, slips over. I've been so United for that to get blocked. Yeah, and go in. Yeah. I knew this was first against Forrest last week. Yeah, Maguire heads it oh, out. Forrest, if it's United. Gomez wants to keep this going. United are tiring, struggling, holding on to this. Also, what technical area is Ten Hag in there, by the way? Practical line. <laughs> Gary says the only reason I'm watching is... 2,000 in there, referee. No, to get, oh, no, to get given. Gary says the only reason he's watching is because he wants to hear the crowd cheer at full time. Anthony. Boy, Loon. Sorry, Anthony in. Saved by Kelleher. Because it's straight at him. 
And again, they're going to get the ball rolling quickly. Liverpool Van Dyke into Jones. They've got to get this moving quicker. What is Jones doing? He's expecting the foul. Anthony, 1-2 of Amrabat. United are the ones coming forward late on. Not anymore. That's a tragic pass. But kept on. Kept on the line by Diaz. And he beats He's still Dano. going. He's still going, Luis Diaz. He needs help. That's oh, a big referee. challenge from Casemiro. He's going to get booked for that, you'd think. Or is he only, is he already, he's already yeah, on the yellow, on isn't he? Yellow. I think Taylor was just thinking about it. And he's going to show him the yellow card. Nowhere near the ball. So he, he comes flying in. Jeez. Oh, I tell you what. Right, I wouldn't be surprised if they are. Okay, if that was a red. He's lucky. He's lucky. He's a lucky boy. I'm trying to make my decision not to captain Salah, says Gary. Yeah, I don't think it's. I mean, I'll wait. I'm reserving judgment until I see what Palmer and Son do. One last chance for Liverpool. One last hope for justice and peace in the world. Robertson, Sam. ball in, head away. Elliot, strike it, saved. Didn't now be it. Salah score. Yeah, penalty. Yes, yeah, so captaincy would have been decent. That's it. And there we go. Somehow, me. Liverpool haven't won that game of football. Manchester United to Liverpool to. And this game feels like a United fan because you know you can be as shit as possible and still get something out of the game. Yeah, no, I was about to say this game feels like the classic saying. That the only thing that matters in football is the scoreline. At the end of the day, Liverpool come away with only one point. They don't come away with the three points they would have wanted from their performance. And while the performance and the chance created is all good, they didn't finish their chances today and they rude them because May United did finish the two chances they created. And that is what made the difference at the end of the day. Liverpool will be, well, have slipped from their perch at the top of the Premier League table. They fall to second now, joined on points with Arsenal. And the Premier League title race is well and truly open. I am very excited to see how this season ends. I hope you guys are as well. And I hope you guys can join us for all of the action as we round off this season. Six weeks to go. Yeah. Not long left. Wow. In this Premier League campaign. So, yeah. We're two, two and a half months away from the Euros. That's what we're all excited for, really. But anyway... There's everything from us today. When are we back? Well, we're back in the midweek with Champions League action. Unfortunately, I know I can hear you already booing in chat. We can't be live for Tuesday's Champions League tie between Real Madrid and Manchester City, which is a shame, but we will definitely be doing the second leg. We will be here Wednesday, though, for the game between PSG and Barcelona, so I'm very excited for it. Hopefully, it will be, uh, hopefully be a good one. So, yes, join us on Wednesday night, and uh, we will be back. Are we back live next weekend? No, I don't think so. I don't think we are, no. Mm. But uh, we are we are live Wednesday, so join us there. And, of course, look out for the videos this week. Hopefully they perform as well as the ones this week have. So, yeah, if you haven't checked out our video from this week, looking at the championship title race, make sure to do so. It was a good video, but do so so myself. Or of the other 9,000 people that watched it, do say so themselves. But that's everything from us today. Thank you guys very, very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.